All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, today we're going to do some Gellerhorn trials and maybe some other stuff as well. Kind of depends on whether um, we're uh, able to do Dinah today. I hope so, but I'm not quite sure. We'll see when it happens, though. I um, have to do something real quick first. I really wonder if uh, Wind Buffet Belt is still worth it. Seems kind of lackluster at this point. see here. Late again, I know, right? <laughs> uh, I can farm it, yeah, I can, but it's. I don't even know if it's worth it at this point. I feel like the uh, Unity ones are a lot better. Uh, Unity rewards. So, triple attack means... Uh, Two multi attack per and quadruple attack is three multi attack per. Let's see the unity belts real quick. Uh, let's see, not that one. Okay, so there's Kentark belts, which is three multi attack plus five store TP. So that's uh, pretty much eight total. Wind Buffet should have 4 plus 6, so that's 10 total. So Kentark Belt is definitely worse. Sylphy Belt is the one I'm considering here. Uh, it's technically worse as well. I guess Wind Buffet is still worth uh, using then. Feels weird, man. A <laughs> Kentark has accuracy swap? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just uh, checking if um, if it's still best assaulted, like low accuracy builds. But I guess it is. All right, what do we do first? I guess we're going to AC disable range. Two seven one five. Let's check out which one that is. Trial two seven one five. All right, that's the Bosidine one. Not looking forward to that one. Not gonna lie, but we gotta do it. We'll give it a go. Missed like a whole row there in the chat. <laughs> Are you literally telling him he should shit post better? <laughs> Alex, he's still a muffer. Not wrong. Definitely not wrong. Oh, wait, I need to go to a thief on this. I'm just uh, gonna ra run around with Arboma and uh, Tenebrae, I think. Let Matt uh, camp the pop site. <laughs> Metal parts assemble. How many do I actually have? Good morning, dude. We're doing yellow horn trials today. Feels good, man. Come 
Come on then, time to burn out. Let's do it. Uh, boosting glacier. I'm doing it. Relax. This is exactly what was happening yesterday to me, dude. Exactly the same thing. I like how Juba is in the uh, chat now, so we can shit post here at, uh, in Link Shell too. Feels good. Would have thought that the Link Shell dead server would be the most lively one here. <laughs> I honestly kind of did. <laughs> That's what you get when you get a bunch of fucking memers. <laughs> Good morning, girlfriend. And she is especially chill today, right? I hear doubt in your voice. <laughs> yeah, Floof was being really fucking weird this morning. Cute, weird, but weird. Resident Evil 2 remake stream tomorrow. Better get ready. Yep. We'll see what happens. Rip. Uh, we could do Sunday. Or we could do Claire's today instead and do Monday. That works, right? Work Monday again. Ah, uh, it's your minification over. Feels bad. Let's do it uh, Sunday then. I think that works out best for everyone. Yeah. Do I actually have Sneak and Invis on this guy? I do. Perfect. We'll do a uh, Dinah Sunday. And go ham on it. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. There's a, a cat cafe now in town, but we can't go to it because everything's closed. Feels bad. Really want to try it out. <laughs> it should work right now, I know, right? I mean, I'd like to do it tomorrow as well, but I already have prior engagements. Uh, Resident Evil 2 tomorrow. I kind of wonder if I should level slash black mage just to warp people out. Dinah then Resident Evil. Mate, Dinah takes like two hours. Last time we were in there for like two hours. <laughs> it took forever to clear because we kept getting time extensions. I mean, you, you can play Sunday, right? If you have to work next week, it doesn't matter for you. Since it'll be off free charge halfway through the week anyway. Or am I wrong on that? Yeah, let's ju let's just do Sunday then. It's just the easiest way to do it. 
but but I need my clear. You have trials to work on, my friend. Go do them trials first. You really want to do Sandy then, huh? The shitty part is, I want send Sandy on a couple of my jobs as well, but we can't do Magic Bear's uh, burst setup if I do that. I have three days to do these. I mean, I think you're still alive, so you're probably uh, gonna do them, like, in a day. <laughs> Best game in the si past six years. I mean, there's plenty of other games that are really fucking good. I don't, I don't agree with the whole best game notion in general, just because it's taste. Some people like some things, and some people like other things. It just feels weird to me, you know? Mate, it takes forever to get there. <laughs> True. Wait, what do you mean? Only streamers can get bullied. Bold statement. Bold statements only in this channel. <laughs> nah, she was she was doing this so she could look. <laughs> She's smart. If only at plus four song already, I would be faster. Hey, look, it's a boss. Let's slap him. Oh no. The kill shots, those are the worst. Hey, another run. I mean, technically, Morden's not good until you have a mythic, so... <sighs> Doing 10k Morden rhymes. Better get ready, Rain. Not looking forward to atonement. No, those are the worst. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, atonement is the fucking worst, man. I'm not looking forward to those to those either. Did you just say a Vicia doesn't fucking matter? Despite getting plus. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, dude, this fucking guy. <laughs> oh my fucking god. You cheating fuck. <laughs> I knew something was up. I knew it. I had a feeling, man. Alright, Kjellohorn is equipped currently. Alright, let's see. Set us fortune. Fucking slap this boy. Gallowhorn is equipped, trial is on. Should be fine. Four objectives remain. 
And of course, now I get a harmony, one out of one. Of course I do. You know what? Fuck you, game. <laughs> I don't even need it anymore. Anyone need harmony? I'm not making another one, you've bullied me enough. I want to make useless relics now. If anyone wants to uh, get Honor March though, I think you should get this. Make it, make another or unsub. Mate, is that a threat? Making a useless Rama and Bird Gang. I mean, depends on how you look at it, I guess. Let's get rid of that. Don't think there's any. Yeah, there's there's literally no mages around here or bards. It sucks. You have to go all the way back. Yellow Horn is equipped. Yak Atonement is worse by far. Uh, I don't care for that. Nah, technically you don't, I think. Looks good though. <laughs> so if he's whining about it, it's his own fault. Ah, uh, your what's not here? Merglice Pog. I really like Merglice. It's a shame that on Red Mage to melee with, it's kind of awkward because it, it doesn't fit with a good weapon skill. And the AM3 is way less good on Red Mage because, uh, because of Temper 2. Like, there's no possible situation where you have Temper 2 not on you when you're meleeing. Still really cool, and I think it's still best to slot for magic accuracy. I'm not sure about that though, with uh, with the other one. Hey, thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the raid, buddy. All right, two objectives remain. Fog. I'll keep the uh, bard here then. Never mastered red mage, my first time. It's really good. By far the strongest job right now. Like, by a really fucking long shot. Alright, um... MS follow off. I want the other guy with me though. May as well give them a chocobo. Red mage sucks. That's bullshit. It is for a couple of sets. 20 magic accuracy, yeah. Like, there's, um... What's the other one called? We Contemplator, which is really fucking good as well, but I think it still beats it with R15. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> good argument. Oh shit, that's a, that's a good argument too. These guys know what they're talking about. I mean, I got carried by a monk.
Red Mage wasn't even there. Oh, Alexi got the Red Mage carry. That Red Mage sucks. Wow. Wow. After the carry as well. Wait, are you lying to me? Are you fucking lying? Why are you lying? <laughs> you got that walk carry from Red Mage. Hey, I did all the work there. Needed two fucking Geos and a Scholar to do it. And of course the DPS player goes away with the glory. Of course. <laughs> nah, you, you definitely hard carried me on that one. She was fun though, it was really fun to heal as well. I honestly really liked it. Scholar's uh, really nice. I really like Scholar. Where's my walk carry? Three pops waiting. I mean, we should at least start with uh, with an Aeonic, right? Before we do it. Or do, did you all? Are you already on the? Ruan. As soon as I get beats, I'll do a, Z a full Zeta clear with uh, everyone. May as well. 7k beats. I think it would be really fucking good for your bard though. Getting uh, Elder March is pretty fucking big. Not just for the party, but for your own damage as well. It's so much attack. Like it's it's so fucking crazy to me that um that the attack on Elder March is higher than Valor Minimum 5, which is <laughs> which is like wow, okay. That's that's cool I guess. Didn't want to wait for plus three, rip. That's gonna cost you in the long run, mate. Hmm. Panda's doing the path thing again, by the way. She's like doing this sometimes. I like how nobody likes sequence anymore. People used to cream all over that shit. And now Nagling exists and everyone's like, fuck that thing. Ditch sequence, it sucks. Brock on seek. What's your progress on that? Like if you're not far, you may as well toss it. If you're not gonna use it, that is. Sequence is not good for CDC, by the way. The crit rate you get from uh, TP bonus is very, very minor. Can't cancel Naonic. Oh fuck. That sucks. I don't want the Despot's Fortune. Fuck off with that thing. I thought you could, to be honest. You 
do it with dagger. Since when? Uh, I remember being able to as well, though. I wasn't allowed to cancel my Aeonic rip. Maybe uh, he's just racist towards ours, who knows. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? Dagger is decent. It's not. It's nothing to write home about because uh, MP exists, but it's it's decent. I was considering it for uh, my own battle bard, but I want. I really want to get Fenga. I want to max out Scholar first. I think Dagger's next on the list, though. Yeah, Thief as well. Thief has uh, multiple good options, so... Oh, whoops. I'm fairly sure Mythic isn't bad on Thief either. Especially with all uh, R15 thing. Don't want to make a twash. That makes sense. Oh. Fuck you then. Eat my magic, bitch. Uh, there's a white mage there. That's about it. Yeah, that makes sense. I was considering doing Thief on uh, Met as well at some point, but I'm not sure if I want to go through with it. Just to have like a melee on her. Like Only took me three weeks. Oof. Could do Corn Met. I don't I don't like core that much though. Smooth brain. But for me making the money is still the worst part. Funding is definitely what's holding me back making all those remas. Now I use Twash on all three jobs. Fucking crazy lad. Getting Twash is really shit. Like, is the marginal DPS worth the effort? If you love the job, yes. If you don't love the job, definitely not. <laughs> Very good, to be honest. Probably not a bad idea. Um, there's none here anymore, I think. 
Just doing AF quests and shit. Understandable. You gotta at some point. I love Monkey, don't see me going out getting Vera for that 1% DPS increase. I don't know. I, I really love Dancer and I didn't get Twash Star either because on the server it just felt impossible. Even though, it, like, it, I know it's not impossible, but it just felt like it. Like an impossible task. Didn't want to do it. It's the only thing I don't have on Dancer and it feels horrible. <laughs> Guess we go back to the other side. The thing is, Twashtar for Dancer is not as good as people make it out to be. For PK, like for Rudress, it's definitely best than Slotas offhand. Uh, if you are Rudressing at either high TP or uh, Rudressing very seldom. Because Taming Sari is uh, better for PK. Only by a little bit, but it's still better. Be offhand and uh, Twash main is sick. Probably is. This was before that became meta though. PK is really fucking good though. A weapon skill is still slapped upon. What were you hitting with uh, Twash main to be offhand? I know Dancer's a pretty good job for it because it gets uh, a good amount of accuracy bonuses and traits. I mean, I ain't, I ain't maining Bard, I'm just, I want it to be good enough, you know? That's something you can do with Mythic, though. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> Sorry. He still killed me in PvP, true. A backstab. Shit was funny. <laughs> After you killed me a bazillion times as well because fucking Rune Fencer. Not with no buffs. So 99k Rude Russ, not 99k with the skill chain damage included, I'm guessing. On which uh, mob? No buff switch mob, because uh, I'm very curious here. I would love to see that. When you were required to use it. That sounds like you had buff, so if you're in a group. Yeah, that's definitely a Sura. It's the fucking worst. <laughs> I don't know, man. Sounds like you had buffs to me. Yeah, but you have frailty still, then, right? Or did they not bring that either? Fucking yeah, what kind of party were you in? Just bard and main party. I mean, you can uh, show me and correct me. I'd love to see it.
later. All right. Oh yeah, I'm doing this first now. I'm gonna get my uh, trials done. My these things do not drop. The uh, bird, right? Was it on a was it on the uh, siren kind of mob? You don't have to uh, put the uh, AM3 up though, like you don't have to. Sometimes it's a damage loss to do it. Just because you have it doesn't mean you should use it. It's the same with Mythic. Sometimes it's just better to not do it. And enjoy the PK damage. It's fucking weird though. Hey, thanks for the raid again. God damn, you're on a roll, man. That's what, like four days in a row? Damn, dude. Uh, Strophidia takes extra damage to almost anything physical, even more to piercing. Yeah, that's what I think as well. The weird big tiger up thing. Wait, what? Which one? Which one is that? I like Mythic better because of the uh, uh, step bonus, actually. Step bonus is such a big quality of life part. I am getting fucking anything that isn't set as fortune. <laughs> Feels good, man. Uh, there was no bard here, right? No, there's no bard here. Alright, back up we go. The one that looks like Tiga. Gaja. Hi. Despite how everyone hates Asura, it is the best place to get stuff done, in my opinion. I mean, I guess it depends on what group you're with, to be honest, because there's a lot of bad groups there. If you have a good group in any other server, you can get plenty of shit done. just depends on that. Plus the attitude of do you want to get shit done or do you want to enjoy the games? Because there's like two modes you can be in, right? I don't have the feeling we're not getting shit done here, to be honest. Like the only rough part is making money. That's about it, though. The rest is very uh, doable. I thought it would be a lot worse with uh, a small player base, but really haven't had any issues so far. Really? That's funny. I mean, it's not like it matters. turn so good. <laughs> Just a bunch of tossers on levy. I agree. I'm one of them. Feels good. Jupa is officially one of them as well. Treasure Hunter's broken for this shit, it doesn't work. Straight up just doesn't work, dude. <laughs> I 
<laughs> of course it works on them, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's exactly how it goes, isn't it? <laughs> oh, there's a white mage. You there. You've broken the law. Come with me or pay with your blood. I would like to finish Gellar Trials today. That requires me to get a pop item though. And it does not want to drop right now. Look at that thief aggroing fucking everything. What an asshole. <laughs> Wait, really? Are you okay? Got stuck with me. What the fuck is he doing? Is he trying to kill himself? Yeah, bearded dragon. It's a dragon with a big beard. He's stupid. I mean, he doesn't sound very smart. Did you warp him out? <laughs> I'm sure I would appreciate it after being stuck behind a radiator. Like a goddamn idiot. I didn't even know bearded dragons could jump that well. Apparently. Uh, I, I get Oh, nice. We got one fortune. We need two, though. How many binds do I have? Want to make a nice clean stack on that. There's the black mage. They can jump. How far? Oh, nice. And number two. Back to back. It's always back to back, isn't it? Right, let's go back. Yeeted into outer space. Poor guy. What? Wait, one and a half meter jump? That's pretty impressive, to be honest. I didn't know they could even jump. Why was he jumping? What the fuck was he doing? Like, what? What's his plan there? <laughs> How far is that in freedom units? <laughs> I like how we can all agree on that. <laughs> Nobody even gets offended by that anymore. It's just like, yeah, we know. <laughs> uh, and as follow on. All right, should be able to uh, get it done now. I have to do Umbral Marrows after this. Well, not after this one, but after the next one. Not looking forward to that one.
mirror you. Oh shit, I wanna get in on that. A little after popping two of these then. Let's make sure Gellar is equipped. It is. Let's just kill it then. I hate it too. Her extra points though. So 200. Mm hmm. Fix that cap. <laughs> Let's go. It's also required uh, to keep the uh, 100 point bonus. So when he's up, you should always go, to be honest. Since this server is uh, kind of small. Shit's laggy as fuck though. It is not fun. Like it is super laggy. Alright. That works. I would just need to wait until the question mark appears again. There it is. Trade. Set his fortune. Gellarhorn is equipped. Perfect. Guy. All right, let's do some Mirio since he's up anyway. And I still need to do my DI, so. Chima, right? Let's do this. Alright, we'll wait a little bit here before it spawns. Then we'll go out and then we'll go back in. Uh, 
and better died. Yeah, the lag is pretty crazy here. There he is. Okay. Um. At least well I got some songs up, I guess. This is what it's like on a Sura every single double invasion, by the way, it's fucking crazy. Done it once, never again. That was horrible. Uh, it's actually probably a good idea. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Like, I'm not running this on a bad PC and I'm still laggy. Usually I have to reload in before I even see Miryu. <laughs> it's pretty dumb. Alas, this is what we're in for. Do, do this because um, there's a config I think for that not sure which one it is but I know there's a config in there I think it's um, not gameplay not chat filters not window I think it's log Risk. This would help you as well, I think, for lag. It's not what I meant though. Oh, the, here it is. In the config and then effects. This is uh, the part you want. Just be here when the kill happens and you get credit at least.
Gonna use some crit weapon skills here to get some beats as well. Yeah, Miri is always laggy. It's just a fucking shit show. I don't like it at all. But, you got good points for it, so we just AFK on the uh, Miryu. Why not? I don't wonder what my beats are at right now. It should be pretty high. Wonder if this can even load at the moment. I think my R is pretty much capped. 43k beats, alright. Quite close to starting another one then. Time for me to take a dab. <laughs> it's fucking crazy though, right? Like, I, I don't see how I see things. This is a good idea for content. Because you know the whole server's gonna be here. That, that feels fun on paper, because everyone's gonna be there and we need to kill the dragon, right? But when your game is this unoptimized... <laughs> it's just... it's the worst fucking thing, man. Doesn't matter how good of a PC you have, either. Your R here is just perma caps. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm fairly sure this is my, my R cap, to be honest. What I'm at right now. Yeah, I think it was a spike. Usually hovers around just below 3000 for me in the Miryu. And normally it's like fucking 1000 if even that. Pretty crazy. And I have a lot of people filtered out here as well. Fucking crazy though, isn't it? <laughs> I'll take uh, some water, thank you. I'm convinced the eye is the same across all servers, so Asura would be the same as this. Um, there's just more people, right? Class can't even get on. Oh boy. Is there a 50 player limitation? I didn't know that. Still way too many. I didn't even know there was a player limitation. What I do know though is that Asura regular DI is just as fucking bad as this. I've done it once and it was fucking horrible. Like new DI that is. It used to not be bad because people just didn't do them. Maybe I was on at the wrong time or something because there was a lot of people there and I was very laggy. I did it during the uh, free campaign. The eye is not that bad. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with you there. <laughs> I had a lack on regular DI on the server as well. 
There was just as many people as well. Um, well, really prime time. It was after stream, so I guess it's like kind of prime time, but not really. It's like during the day for them, right? Fuck Besieged. I hate Besieged. That's the only silver voucher I refuse doing. The campaign one is like whether I'm up for it or not, but the Besieged one is an automatic no for me. Fuck Besieged. I ain't doing it. Mate. There can be no besiege going on and Ottingon uh, White Gate still lags. It regularly lags just by walking around. Like I see my characters lag behind and then they teleport right uh, behind me. That zone is just awful. Which is just a shame because I actually really like the zone. <laughs> That's nice music. <laughs> the 11 warriors. The auction house warriors. The fuck was that move? Ha! He didn't get me. I wonder if um, NMs have a maximum amount of targets they can have as well. Okay, so, look at this, right? I'm gonna show you on camera right now, because look, look at this, look at this one's face. Oh, she doesn't have it anymore. There was, there was literally just like a big fucking pluck of hair on her face from uh, playing with the other cat. Just a massive fucking pluck of hair, since they're uh, wrestling again. <laughs> Where the fuck did- oh, there it is. Yeah, that's a big fucking plug of hair. <laughs> My hairy existence feels bad, man. Doing AoE damage has no target cap, attacking whilst with AoE hate has a cap of 15 targets. Okay. So, you can't get hate above 15 mobs then? Is that, is that how I'm reading that? So if you run around and you have 20 mobs behind you and you get hate on all of them via an AoE spell, if someone would Diaga uh, your pool, they would at least get 5 mobs off of you, right? You can Lullaby more than 15. I think it's just a hate mechanic, not a effect mechanic then. That makes sense. It's kind of weird that they did it, but I think it's to uh, prevent people from t trading entire zones and keeping them. Only shows 15 in the log. Weird. I mean, if you cast multiple times, maybe it's like a... It uses these 15 the first time and another 15 the second time, right? So you do have AoE hate that way. You can only build uh, hate on 15 mobs at once, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Makes more sense that way. I mean, it still doesn't really make sense, but I think they did it just to prevent people from holding an entire zone for 24 hours, because you can't technically do that. Yeah, so you just have to hard spam pretty much. Also, by the way, I was making the uh, spell interruption down enmity set yesterday, and my god, it's, it's so awful. I do not like that set. The cure set ended up being perfect, but that set is... Oof. It is the worst to make, man. 
And I'm still not done with it either. I still don't know if I'm doing it right. Because I want to maximize enmity, I want to stay at 3k HP and I want to uh, cap DT as well. Because if you're doing AoE hate spells, you're gonna be tanking. So you need to be capped BDT, right? But getting all four of those is really tough. The enmity plus is very... Uh, it's on the low side as well, it's like plus 50 or something, without weapon and shield. And crusade, I guess. I, I'm not sure what enmity number I should be looking at, to be honest. It's pretty rough, dude. I mean, I'll, I'll for sure get it at some point, but it's... Right now, it looks really ugly, and I want it to look better. So I'm going to start from scratch a few times, see if I can make up any different uh, sets, and go from there. If possible, I want to do it without Moonlight Necklace as well, but I'm not sure if that's possible. Kai Cosplay... Wait, what? I'm talking... Oh, that, yeah. I'm talking for Paladin though. So it's like a while you're tanking thing. Yeah, it's the opposite, pretty much. You want to be be capped uh, PDT, you want to be capped uh, spell interruption down, you want to get 3k HP, and you want to get as much enmity as possible, but it's... All four of those is fairly difficult. The cure cell was easier to make than this. I think, uh, I, I'm getting to 47 PDT, I think, which is... Like, it's alright, I guess, but if you're hard spamming something, I want to be capped, right? Is it worth to make an Aegis at all? I don't have one, but I think it is. It's very consistent damage reduction, whereas Magic Evasion Paladin is very inconsistent. A Paladin falls over to magic damage mostly. Physical damage is not really a problem for them. In general, at least. There's some mobs that, like, are an exception. In general. Either magic damage or Mijinga Cure is gonna get you on Paladin. I should still make an Aegis to be honest, but I've been slacking. I wanna try and make the Magic Evasion Paladin first to see how it is, and if it's in too inconsistent I'll make an Aegis after. Bitching Kakir is weird though, it's breath damage and it's it's not fire damage either, so you can't like the only thing that helps against it is either straight up um, breath damage reduction or magic evasion. But that's just a really weird really weird attack to a gear against. Because that's pretty much like there's a few other things where you'd use breath damage, but it's mostly Mijinka Cure. I guess... Um, what's it called? Ar uh, Arrogance Incarnate or something. That's probably breath damage as well. Uh, Blue has some spells for it. Like any breath attack from the from an NM is also bre considered breath damage. That makes sense, right? But there's a few that make less sense but are still breath damage, including Machinka Cure. I wonder if self destruct is breath damage. I think it is, right? I'm fairly sure it is because breath damage always has to do with the monster's max HP, and so does self destruct. Fairly sure that's the ge generic rule for it. Oh, 
finally, dude. Let's unload that shit before it bites me in the ass. I may have to. Can you post it for me? Self destruct with a giant drink. Mobs don't really need that shit, man. Mobs have so much HP, so they kill so early with that kind of stuff. Like, for players, it's just not worth it. It's been tried and tried again. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> nah, I know, man. Don't worry about it. It's just, it's just weird, right? I'm getting songs plus three now, Pog. Twenty-three chop points, still master rep mage. You're almost there, dude. You can do it. This kept uh, this set is kept, sir. How much plus enmity? Do you have it in uh, an auction house uh, item set? Because I want to go over it later. All right. Let's. Uh, I'll. I'll make it real quick then, because I. I wanted to get over it. Uh, item sets. Paladin. Uh, test three K shirt and the T. Add. All right, post it. Does it assume a certain shield and weapon as well? Okay, that's good. Because that shit is the worst. Yeah, post uh, post set. I'll uh, I'll go over it real quick because I definitely want to see it and I want to comment it while you're here as well. I can do it. Just uh, post set. I'll do it. Plus three songs, baby. All right, two more trials to go, including a money trial, if I were to buy them. Let's make sure we have the correct trial. Activated here, 3128. Perfect. Alright. Let's go to Xarkabard, I guess. slow. Uh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, I know. I know. I told you, man. It's not easy. Uh, I'll, I'll check out what my current set is for that. Build an HP sets. The one I made yesterday is 47 PDT without sword and shield. 
does 50 enmity, uh, 3.05k HP, and 100% third. What's the enmity on that set? I mean easily capped if, I, if you weren't lazy with the eye. Can you push your set? I wanna know dude, come on. Stop holding out on me. Now I'm using that in my set. I'm considering not using them as well. It's kind of a weird one, that one. I'm not sure if it's good. Oh nice, Light Sphere Assault. Sweet. That's some money right there. Oh, let me fucking look with you, man. I want to know the set. Come on, bruh. Hey, thanks for the follow, Alpha Prime 2020. Uh, let's see here. Sark Ward, I guess. Yeah, why not? Oh, I can't, of course. I need to go to the survival guide. Oh, real. Oh, that makes sense. I think I was looking at the 99 ones then. AC disable range. It's the right trial. MSS, UE, SG, Xarka, Bart. Let's do it. Except it. I had to put my 11 year old doggo down last week. I've been much kind of down, but I'm doing better. Oh man, look. That feels bad. I'm sorry, dude. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah. My condolences as well. I'll probably have to do, well, I guess my parents will have to do it, but um, the dog I grew up with is getting really old as well, and I think she has like maybe a month. I'm not looking forward to that either, so I know what you mean. She feels really bad. Yeah, you can. Can do plenty of shit now. There's a lot of uh, quality of life uh, updates. And in general, it's uh, I think it's a better game in general. But five years ago, you could do this as well, though. It was a boxer so eleven years play? Oh yeah, boxers are. Uh, kind of unhealthy in general, right? If I recall correctly. Boxer Retriever's the best dog I ever had, named a Brooklyn. That's oddly fitting. <laughs> Somehow. It's, I mean, that's... It's always gonna be hard to do that. I don't think there's an easy way to get around to that, right? Sucks, man. Yeah, there's not much you can do about it. Sometimes you just have to. Uh, enmity without crusades. 
Because it's going to be the same on everyone, right? On every set, I mean. Yeah, that stuff always sucks. Maybe I can make you happy with a cat. <laughs> it's something. He's in doggo heaven. Playing with tennis balls. It's fucking weird, right? Because... I, d I have the feeling I get more emotional from uh, my dog or cat or something dying than a human dying. It feels weird, but it does feel like that. Ref Surcoat, Regal Gauntlets. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll back you up right here. I on purpose didn't include Regal Gauntlets because I, I can't get those pretty much. If I had them, the set would be a lot easier. I have two other dogs that are three and a half years old, so I've got them, and that's the only uh, thing that has helped. That makes sense. You just gotta distract yourself. As I said, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. Can't all be uh, roses and sunshine, right? Fifty one MT, three K HP, cap T T. I wasn't sure about the nightly airing. That's worth it. How are you getting to three K HP with that set though? Not sure if we can. I would love to though. One needs regal shit. Oh, it makes sense. Uh, best game ever made, I agree, dude. I don't need that, so let's get rid of that. Uh, did the kill count? Yeah, it did. Great. Yeah. That's our cap on every uh, job I have at the moment. I completely kept them out. Alright, let's uh I'm gonna get that set in Let's see. Um Staunch Deathlum Cause I can I can just count this, it's pretty easy. Suveran Sheller I'm surprised you're using Ref Zirko instead of uh, Suvran Body. Plus 20 Amity is so much. Oh, you didn't have it. Oh, that makes sense. Alright, let's kill this real quick. Hold on, I'm uh, doing this set real quick. Uh, what else? Founder's Hose. Eshite Greaves. Regal Gauntlets. That's the only piece I, I don't have that I would love to have for this set. Nightly Beats plus one. How much is on that? How much HP? 45 and... I guess that might be good, yeah. Uh, our Dumbla Sash turns into the DI Sash then. 
Main Invasion Rewards. Got the name of it. A thousand point items. Where is it? Outdumbler. Oh, that is Outdumbler. Never mind. Outdumbler. Sash. Uh, nightly Earring, I guess. Nightly Earring. Defending Ring. Noah. Earring plus one. Let's see, other ring, Moonlight Ring. Uh, Rudiana's Mental, alright. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. I was using um, uh, a massive HP one instead of a DT one though. I was using the uh, unmoving there because it has Amity plus 10 and 200 HP. So hard to... Uh... Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Like, Gape is always flexible. <laughs> uh, poor guy. Feels bad, man. Alright, let's uh, pop another one. I'm gonna calculate this in a bit after popping these two. That's how we pass. Macabre gauntlets. Do Wait, you were magic evasioning without those? Huh. That does give me some hope at least. Vanya on Black Mage, feels good, man. <laughs> easily best in slot, easily. Alright. Equipped. I think I'm going to get my Paladin out here, I want Thief. Need to work on my cloth craft again, I have 100 cloth, 70 gold, 70 smithing, 30 leather craft. I'm not sure which craft I want to do. Alright, I'm gonna make this uh, set and see what happens. Let's see, the headpiece is probably path C, so that's plus 105 HP. It's 175 plus 0, 5, 180. Uh, I think 9 enmity. Yep. Does it have any PDT on it? It does not. You reckon you can do this without regal gauntlets, by the way? 
Also, I don't think your surge is capped here. You got 100% exactly. Right? Let's see. 10. Uh, 40. Uh, 55. 65. 75. 85. Oh, no, you're capped. Yeah, you're capped. That's 105%. I think. Let's, let's try again. 20, 30, 60. Wait, what, what uh, augment are you using on the Ashite Greaves? Quick phone call. Which uh, augment do you have on your Ashite Greaves? Do you have Magic uh, or uh, do you have Surd on it or do you have the HP one? Surd, alright. Yeah, then it's capped. You're a little bit over cap as well. Want to know the HP of this set though. Uh, Nightly Beats, let's see. 45 HP on those. Ear 1 is 110, ear 2 is nothing. Reverend's body is 254. Hands is 2. Yeah, fucking regal hands, man. I want them, but I don't have them. It's gonna be the biggest deal here, I think. Regal gloves. Uh, exactly 3,024 HP, considering Paladin Slash Warrior. Yeah, it is, it is a 3k HP build, but that does require Regal Gauntlets. I just don't have those, and I don't think I can get them. That's the problem here for me. Like, if I had them, I would definitely uh, be able to do this, but... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I would have loved one of those to be Regal Gloves, man. Uh, where are we going? Start Bart. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much a thing, though. You reckon you can make one without regal uh, gauntlets? Like the reason it's so good is because it has and spell interruption down and a lot of HP. Like that's all you need on that slot as well, because the hand slot is pretty trash for uh, enmity. I can try. All right, let me see what you come up with. <laughs> Just don't do paladin. Good solution right there. My enmity is, uh, assuming 5 enmity merits, 50. That's without anything else though, so no crusade or whatever, or weapon or shield. I am assuming 5 enmity merits though. Uh, that thing ain't dropping. Not without thief. Uh, oh, could be. That's, uh, I'll, I'll count the enmity real quick. Uh, plus seven on neck, right? Yeah. Don't think neck gets any more from, uh, the augment, right? It does not. Alright. So, six PDT from that. Twenty third there. 
11 cert there, 3 PDT there, uh, 3 PDT from Odd Noah R15, the other one's 9. Master Red Mage complete, congrats dude. Time to solo the world, my friend. HP for gauntlets. It's not even really good HP slots for gauntlets as well. It's just super run, right? I mean, yeah, but you lose a lot of enmity for that. Also, that means I have to get a moonbow, moonbeam cape. Fuck that shit. Oh. I'll see if it's better than the set I made so far. Very well might be, because that one just doesn't feel right. <laughs> uh, I want some garlic bread, same dude. Make me some, please. <laughs> I mean, at least it's kept DT, I guess. Yeah, but mine's 47 DT, so that's not right either. All right. Let's just put it in the oven, what could go wrong? Monk ass. <laughs> Famous last words. Merits is uh, very interchange interchangeable for content. It doesn't require much to change your merits around. that. Alright, I'll continue on the set here. Um, okay, so ring is 5dt and 10dt. Hands is 0dt, I think. But 10 surd. Body is 10dt, if I recall correctly. 11 even. And enmity. There's no enmity on the hands that I know about. Not on D ring. Ten on cape. Ten PDT as well. Uh, four PDT on that. Ten surd. Thirty surd on founders. 
20 third or 15 third on Greaves with plus 7 LT, I think. So that's 15. Uh, did I miscalculate? I'm, I'm getting to 50 uh, enmity on that. On your set with the Regal Gauntlets. We're back, alright. Don't feel like I miscalculate this though. Could definitely change, uh, change up Suveran there though. So let's just assume that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting to... Oh, weird. I'm getting to uh, 50 enmity and 55 with merits. That makes sense. Wait a second. Oh my god, I fucked this up yesterday. Oh my god, I fucked this up yesterday. Oh no. I am so dumb. Oh my fucking god. Mate, I am actually so dumb. <laughs> I was hard. Wait, <laughs> my set's so much better than yours. Then holy shit! <laughs> I was I was being a dumbass yesterday. Apparently, so I was um, I was testing DT and all that stuff, right? So I made an if function so it can't go above fifty, so I know when I'm capped. And I'm uh, but that if function apparently on accident uh, I copied it to enmity plus as well. So, my enmity third set is 85 enmity, not 50. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I feel kind of dumb right now. I mean, I am kind of dumb right now, I guess. God damn it. God, that is really stupid. That is so stupid. Oh my fucking god. I am actually so dumb. <laughs> dumb and dumber, yeah. Oh man. I was wondering, like, how the fuck do I have this little enmity in this? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> this is why spreadsheets are stupid. Oh nice, another Mysterial. Yoink. I'm definitely Dumber right now. I admit it. God, I feel so stupid right now. That's not a nice feeling. That doesn't feel nice at all. Don't go outside. Yeah, uh, I think you were AFK just now. So, apparently the set I was making has plus 85 enmity, not plus 50, because I made a really dumb spreadsheet error. I'm missing 3 DT still though, but it feels less bad if I uh, get some DT now. Plus 85 DT seems pretty good. Or uh, enmity, I mean. 
I'm posting all of those sets on my uh, auction house profile, by the way, so if you want to check it out, you can. It is something, though. If you're getting whaled on, it's something. I want to do it right, you know? I know I could just disregard it entirely, but I want to do it right. It's not just auto attacks though, is it? I mean, I got the max amount of phalanx I can get right now, so... Since I can't really uh, do DMs outside of campaign. But it's not just auto attacks as well, there's plenty of other things that can happen. You could get DP move during it. And that's what I'm mostly scared of. The auto attacks is like, whatever, but if I get DP move during it, I might just like straight up die. I don't think that 3DT is gonna matter that much, but if I'm maximizing my sets, why wouldn't I like do my best to maximize it, you know? Just wait here, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I think both matter. During TP moves, Phalanx don't. The Phalanx doesn't really do shit, but during auto attacks, DT doesn't really do shit. When you're talking about small amounts, at least. Plus 85 enmity seems like way better than I thought it would be, though. That's really nice. You know what's the weird part about it though? My the gloves I'm using in that set is fucking Yorium. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? That Yorium would ever be useful. It's fucking funny though because it has six B uh, DT on it if you augment for it and fourteen enmity. Fourteen enmity and six DT is really good. I still stand by it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna use it fully. I've always wanted to play Paladin, so I may, I may as well go ham on it, right? Okay, I have a pop on this guy. There we go. May as well kill it real quick. Yeah, that makes sense. You just want it to be good, right? It's just how it is. This motherfucker just sleep me. Uh, how many do I still need? Oh fuck, that, didn't, that one didn't count for some reason. I'm not sure why it swapped that out. Uh, AC disable ammo. Oh, it's the cure, I think. Yeah, the cure, but it'll uh, use that. Rip. Stupid mistakes only. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, in general, you just want all tanks to be good, right? A healthy game has uh, all tanks as viable. Since tanking is the most important job, pretty much. I mean, I don't see Puppet Master as a tank still. 
That's level 75 mentality, I guess it is. Top fan in Discord. Uh oh. Do I even wanna know? I don't I need a bully victim. Why don't you use ninja like the rest of us? <laughs> Alright, let's see it. Hey! Man, that little guy is so cute, dude. Cute AF. I fucking love reptiles, man. They're so cute. <laughs> really? Ah. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore the fact that I just missed an animated horn entirely. Objectives remain almost there. Go. Let's pull that right away. As soon as we can, that is. Two objectives remain. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, I'll just keep these guys here. Fuck me, dude. I need to start uh, making ADL pops in a bit. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I guess I need the uh, Archon Ring regardless, so it's probably a good thing. I think I'm gonna lot the next one on the Summoner as well. Or a Summoner on the Paladin. So I have something to uh, Sanguine Blade in. For Ninja, it's pretty much only Blade Eye, I think, but Blade Eye is pretty shit. There's <laughs> not really a reason to gear that. Sanguine at least has a use, you know?
Getting out of range in Medgast is the most annoying thing. <laughs> Hate that shit. Oh fuck, I'm charmed. Super dead. <laughs> the Mao. <laughs> uh, I actually got charmed once. That's funny. And he disappeared? Are you serious? Come on, bro. At least don't fucking disappear on me. He didn't even grant me the full fight then. What a dick. <laughs> That's the first time I got charmed and killed myself, by the way. Of course it happened in 9 elements. <laughs> I'm not even surprised, man. Well, don't have re rays on, so let's uh, go back here, I guess. <laughs> uh, That's <was> great. <laughs> I'm honestly okay with it. That's pretty funny. Has to happen at some point. Up, I guess. That way. I wonder if uh, Utsu blocks that, the charm. I don't know if it's single target or not. Got charmed again, wow. I guess Utsu doesn't block it then. <laughs> oh fuck, I zoned. Whoops. As soon as they despawn, the uh, charm wears off as well. It's kind of, that's kind of funny. Wait, this isn't full malignance as well. <laughs> what are the odds that I get charmed twice in a row here? How the fuck did this ha happen twice in a row though? <laughs> like what the fuck? It's fine. 
guess I could have Mazurk out, but whatever. Well, I'll just fucking get a few of these. Keep charming me, dude. Literally all of them have fear alive without two hours as well, or one hour, I guess. And you can't trust anyone, not even yourself. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Start with this one. Charmed again, god damn dude. Uh and it's gone. I don't know how that happens. I got charmed and then I get de charmed for some reason. I guess it disappeared, but why would it disappear? It has other people around it. That's weird man. At least I reacted to it this time. <laughs> it's actually such an annoying zone. <laughs> God damn, man. Sounds so great. <laughs> I haven't done this uh, Dino that much at level 75. That sounds horrible, man. I guess making a relic was actually hard then, huh? Not just currency wise. I'm still dodging most of these charms, so I can I can only imagine how fucking horrible that is. All right, what do you got? There's another one. Sleepers just needed to not suck. Yeah, I guess, but still, like... You have to kill it at some point, and you can get charmed as soon as it wakes up. I can definitely see these things uh, fucking you over. I wouldn't be surprised. Wasn't too bad? Yeah, I guess. Supernal code for that shield. Oh, yeah, that's shield. Makes sense that I have it then. Uh, 
Alright, need to wait for reprops at this point. I guess I'll uh, work on my set a little bit more then. Charm is always fun. It was so funny. Everyone talked trash about Puppet Master, so it was like the time to kill someone. Uh, shit was funny, man. So I could go for a... Nightly instead, I guess? Doesn't really work out. No, it doesn't really work out. Paladin, hands, damage taken, 119 only. Let's see, what do we have here? Sulevian, that's not really good though. Arc is especially trash. Souverain is magic damage taken, unfortunately. This guy, dude. Go action! I know, right? Apparently, uh, they're back. Yeah, I need to wait for uh, repops on these from time to time. I guess I'll do one by one so I don't get charmed again. <laughs> Kill my own characters. I think I need two more, right? Gotta sure I need two more. the last bar I'm not getting the drop Ugh. it's always like that all 
Alright, that's all of them. Gotta wait for repops again. Could go for macabre gauntlets as well there. It's a lot more health. Wonder if I can lose up Noah if I do that. Uh that's eighty-nine HP. Oh I can fog. Let's do that for now. Only founders had PDT on it. Feels bad, man. In general, I'm definitely a fan of Macabre Gauntlet, so a lot of magic evasion on those. Shouldn't really matter that much with this set, but... Hmm. What if I do this? I have a lot of HP left that I can use elsewhere. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. I understand why, but in that case, Red Mage shouldn't have gotten it either, I think. It's like the one thing holding Red Mage back. I am not getting these codes anymore.
first one. It's the last one before uh, I have to wait again for repops. Rip. Oh, let's wait again. Surely we'll get it eventually. Fuck you. I may as well cast a lot on this, it's always good to have those. Um, how do I do this though? Hey Wikipedia. We are currently doing Gellar Trials, it's the second to last one. We need to do some Ar Arch Dynamics uh, Lord after this, or Arc, whatever the what fuck you want to call it. I'm also still figuring out the uh, best option for uh, Surt Enmity sets. That shit's pretty rough so far though. Do you have a set for that? Kind of curious what you're wearing for it. If you do have one. So I'm trying to make a set with uh, spell interruption down capped, uh, capped DT, uh, 3k HP, and as much enmity as it can get. Preferably without regal gauntlets, because I don't have them. And honestly, I don't think they're needed either. A lot of computer right now, so not too sure. Alright, let me know uh, if you do have them. I forgot to check out your YouTube video, by the way. I wanted to check the drama. Forgot to do that. Was that your last one? Drama still going. It's not the last one. The ASMR one? No, it's not that one either. Alright, where is it? Squishy Taro, that's definitely him. Oh boy. <laughs> Why are people so angry? God damn. They're really reading into you. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading it right now. It's bad editing and blah 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 blah. What the fuck, man? I, I didn't even come to Spice Ryan's comments, uh, common train yet. Are they bothering you in game as well? 
wouldn't put it beyond them, so. Ah, that's good at least. They removed some of their own comments, of course they did. Wait, really? <laughs> Chat thief is here. Watch it immediately drop on this one. What's that? Oh, allergy. Yeah, that's what people usually do when they're uh, losing the uh, argument. Pretty typical. Alright, let's see. About 40% of this video isn't fighting me. That said, I'm going to have to confer with the others if we want someone pushing for personal donations, posting videos all over BG Wiki. There is helpful and that there's pro just profit uh, of those you are pretending to help while simply just enjoying your leisure time. Wait, what? What's the pushing for personal donation thing, though? Is he on about the description or something? What fuck's he on about? <laughs> God damn, dude. Wait, what did New Dawn Link Shell say? I'm kind of curious what New Dawn said there. <laughs> I like this guy. You seem like a bitch, Squishy. to talk your podcast is trash cast consists of who knows uh, of host who knows nothing and pretends he never botted crafting in the past streams crafting now to hide the truth a barely awake <laughs> boomer slash drunk and the biggest letdown someone i looked up to and a strange video maker who acts like a softie then shits on his community for how underappreciated he is <laughs> god damn <laughs> this guy fucking murdered him <laughs> Jesus Christ, how are people so angry? Fuck's wrong with y'all? I'm an American now, by the way, I say y'all now. Hell yeah. Wait, where, where is he actually? Oh, there he is. I knew he would get it as well, I swear to god, dude. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Hells yeah, for real. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so fucking good at this game, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, 
acting like I'm the one but hurt me while sand vomiting all over a video of a 135 UNM. Yeah, that's kind of weird, champ, isn't it? One more. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll pull the guys, I guess. Is this guy slept? Oh, he is. Sleep makes you weak. True. Imagine sleeping in 2021. It's so weird to not say 2020, by the way. I have that every year, though. <laughs> <laughs> How? <laughs> Teach me your secrets. <laughs> I thought I was the lucky one. <laughs> I guess these don't matter as much then, huh? Yellowhorn doesn't matter. That's the only logical conclusion. This TH only works when it doesn't matter. It's not the most seriously produced video in history. Mate, you're not producing serious videos? What the fuck, dude? You're fucking trash. Also, listen to my podcast, please. <laughs> yeah, you're such a drama whore, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, Lamau. I had so. 580L pops. Munka. S. Forgot how to do this. Think I go up here. I'll uh, start with three, I guess. Uh, sneak. God damn it, are you serious? Oh, it's an arc, that's fine. <laughs> I made a video of a two hour gobby butt in tribute to them. Oh, wait, is that, <laughs> is that what that video was? The ASMR one? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Funny though. I'm not gonna lie, I find that pretty fucking hilarious. Are these the higher level ones? 94, I think they are, right? Just uh, warp on wet as well and turn this thing in then. No reason not to. From my point of view, they are the ones coming off, uh, coming off as total dickholes. I mean, they're trashing all over your video while all you're doing is just a solo run of some UNM, right? Like, what the fuck is their problem? Are they, are, are they mad you're getting attention?
No, I am the god of Final Fantasy XI. You have to look up to me. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. Sometimes they might be trying to have an input, but not know uh, how to come across to say it. And when stated, it, it sounds bad. Uh, we're talking about Spicy Ryan here. He's being a dickhead, as per usual. Uh, Spicy Ryan is someone on Asura and also uh, technically runs the BG Wiki, I think. But he's uh, basically, if anyone gets attention that isn't him, he starts uh, reing. As evident on the Wikipedia's YouTube video. Always has been. Oh, yeah, definitely. I never liked that guy. Oh, okay. Got a zone in first, I guess. Spicy comment on your video, but not mine. You must PvP to settle the score. Invite him for a brander match, dude. I would love to see that. Some of it is somewhat valid, uh, like what? Because what I'm what I'm seeing here is they don't like that it's not just a UNM kill; it's something before as well. It's just a Surin drama, dude. This is why I don't like a Sura. Like it's funny from the outside, but when you're in the middle of that shit, it's really annoying. I hate a Sura for that reason. I understand that, but this this is not cri criticism anymore, right? Yeah, I guess it's the ganging up thing that feels off to me. Like, that doesn't sound right. Like, why the fuck are you? Is everyone ganging up on on Ricky here? He's just making a fucking video. And the fact that he said, like, and, and you're asking the no donations, oh, you're so bad. It's, it's literally just a fucking YouTube description, right? Like... A lot of people bow down to spicy, yeah. You know what we call those? Ass suckers. It's fucking disgusting, dude, getting that mouth all brown. Ugh. No thank you. I think Spicy thought I would bow down to his authority. He doesn't have any, mate. <laughs> he literally has none. He thinks he does because everyone keeps sucking up to him, but he does not have any authority whatsoever. At most, he can ban you from BG Wiki, which is circumventable as well. So, like, what's he gonna do? Imagine not letting others uh, make YouTube videos about a certain UNM. I think Spicy thought I would... yeah. Alright, let's see what this is. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean... The other guys pretty much sound like fat children, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's the thing, it's not just him though. Yeah. What? Why? I 
I did. He was in party. Why so mad? Don't cock punch me. I don't like that. Spicy think he's the ro yeah. That's pretty much it. He's the rock star of Final Fantasy XI. That's what he uh, thinks in his uh, mind. And he's he's the only one that deserves attention because he's the best player ever. That's just the way he comes across. If he doesn't mean it like that, he should definitely change his fucking behavior. That's what he comes across, though. Yeah, I think so as well. Like, I've said this before, I legitimately think there's something wrong with him mentally. And I hope he gets help for it, but I doubt it. The dude shits all over my video. Meanwhile, his la uh, latest video is at least seven minutes of doing nothing. <laughs> Best player I've ever considered was a guy that used to do Monk during 75 era. Are you on about Genome? A fucking upbeat glitch. That guy was poggers. I think you're on about Genome. He's the, well, he's the most like well-known Monk player at 75 at least. And he, he did a lot of testing on Monk as well. I think he plays again as well. I've heard something about that. Genome was really good, yeah. He was a good player. But he was a good player because he was he thought outside the box as well. He didn't just like Mungo Burr and that's it. <laughs> Spicy ass comments turned off on his videos. Lemao. Pussy ass bitch. <laughs> Bringing the point that Spice was disrespectful, bringing it to light on another website was a bit of a dick move by Isilis. I mean... I understand why, like, if everyone's looking up to him and it's obviously not a guy worth looking up to, I, I can't understand that you go after him, that's just an emotional reaction though. I'm not saying I condone it, but I do understand why it happens. That's my uh, take on it. Mm. I don't know. To me, it feels... It doesn't feel as wrong to me because... Like, in my uh, point of view, it feels like he deserves getting put uh, put down a little bit. Like, knocked off his pedestal, if that makes sense. Because obviously he's being a dick fucking everywhere, so at some point it's just like, okay, buddy, calm the fuck down. So, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, I understand what you mean, but... Yeah, I know. That, that's the entire thing, though. Like, if he's being a dick and... I understand why someone would make a threat out of it. It's the same thing as when... Um... Oh, fuck. Oh, don't cast songs, please. the first one. NSS LE pass. Like the the way I see it is let let's say it like, like let's put it in a different scenario, right? If someone scams you in game, like hard scams you, would you go on the forums to to tell like this guy's a stammer, uh, scammer, you guys should watch out. I personally would. He did something very wrong in-game, my, in my opinion, and 
there's factual evidence for it as well, I can just put it on a thread and whatever people do, that they can do it themselves. So if someone... You regretted it? Why? I feel like calling people out sometimes is a good thing, if that makes sense. Some people just need it. Oh my god, that guy. Yeah, I remember him. Definitely remember that guy. I'm not surprised he did that. <laughs> uh, there we go. That works. No, I don't think that's wrong morally. I think it's your duty to do so. That's what I think. You gotta heed others so they don't make the same mistake as you, right? Uh... Okay, I'll pass that one then. I'll get the skull on this guy. Yeah, that's what I think as well. I am, I'm someone that wants justice, and someone getting away with something like that is that's not justice, right? It's just how I'm built. Yeah, I wouldn't do it over this, but I understand if someone else did. Like, I wouldn't... I wouldn't be like... Um, like, oh, that's a wrong thing to do and you should take it down. Like, that's, that's his own fucking choice, and I understand the choice. But to me, that's fine. Yeah, I, I understand it, that's all I'm saying. Like, you can agree with it or not agree with it, that's completely fine, you're in your own right to do either of those things. But, he definitely felt the need to, so if he wants to make a post, that's his freedom to do so. I understand it. Alright, find odious, find odious, find odious, got horn on everyone, horn on everyone, need two more skulls, and three more of the rest. Oh, of course not, that's just bullshit. <laughs> Why would you? Ooh, power lot. Pog. I'm gonna finish off those stacks as well. Arx has finished. Nice. Oh fuck, you got that skull from Tenebra, I think, right? This guy yoinking my shit. 
Oh nice, we got a proc. Luckily I have magic on this guy. Uh, that one and that one. I already have a uh, hundred of the bronze pieces. Yeah, I wouldn't give a shit to be honest. The whole Wikipedia thing is just a way for him to power trip his own ass again. That's what it feels like to me. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's definitely funny. Pork. Just need panel mini. All right. Just keep killing shit until I find one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't really care too much about it. You're bound to have some shit over over you, right? Oh, nice. Cannot cast slots, your inventory is full. How the fuck is it full though? Oh that's how. <laughs> uh oh. Uh awkward. Find odious. There's another pen. Mini needed. Nice. Um. Nice, okay, that's two out of five. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't fucking care about it, Ricky. People gonna beat me, dude. And let's be honest, sad people is kind of like this game's jam. <laughs> so, you know. Oh shit. Even more armlets, Lamo. Uh, I'll get that on wet. Says LE pass. Got horn and skull right now. Pen now. Okay. Uh, find odious, find odious, odious. Need five pop items, right? Here 
There's the horn. Already have that. Ah, okay. That makes sense. I just can't get pumped while people hate. Yeah, I know the feeling. I have that as well. It makes me... Uh, I had a talk about with uh, about this with my girlfriend yesterday, actually. Whenever like something bad happens, I'm the opposite of evasive behavior. Like, I, I go balls to the wall, full ham. Which is funny, because my girlfriend's the exact other way, so... I wouldn't say we clash there, it's just a different way of uh, doing things. But I understand exactly what you mean, it just makes you fucking... Let's fucking go then, you know? Oh, nice. That's definitely one I needed. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Like, I wouldn't worry too much about it, to be honest. Like, if he wants to uh, swing his dick around, he can do that. Whatever, right? Doesn't change your world. Oh, fuck. Did you get it? I think he got it. Oh, this guy's, uh, well done, whoops. I don't have ninja tools anymore. That's this one. Odious pen? I think that's the last one I need on, uh... Ten. Ten done. Might as well get those two. I wanna act like nothing offends me and get uh, getting shit like uh, Ricky uh, gets changed my mood within a heartbeat so it feels bad. It's just how you're built man, you can't... Like, you can't change that, it's just how it is. And that's completely fine. I don't feel like that's a problem at all, it's not like a sign of weakness or whatever. Gotta find enemies, I guess. I can start on the uh, popped enemies though. May as well. Farm and um, I farm uh, the popped ones. I don't mind that. <laughs> it's 2021, if shit don't go your way, just go ape shit. <laughs> God, that's, some, uh, that's some strong advice right there. Wouldn't call it the right advice, but it's definitely strong advice. Doesn't get stronger than that. <laughs> Fucking swift rage your way through life. Sounds about right. Um, I'm not sure where all of them are. I need to open the map real quick. 
by Nemes Xarkabart. Perfect. That's exactly the map I needed. I'll start with uh, that one. That's a thing though, if so, like what you can do is just fucking ignore it, because that's how trolls work, right? If you respond, you fuel them. If you don't respond, they can't do shit. It's like a state of mind you have to be in if you want to, uh... Like you, you, you have to be... ...tactical about it, if that makes sense. Oh, nice. Did Glasty die, by the way? Uh, yeah, you can have it. Uh, all yours. You'd think people would be more civil. Nah, it's just not the case. It just doesn't happen. Which is fine, like... Odious pen, alright. That's all good. Oh, looks like this guy, uh... Aight. Yeah, just uh, do your uh, stuff first, it's all good. The whole comment, all right. Uh, you'd think people want to more, be more civil, but not. Nah, at the end of the day, we are humans, uh, are just savages. At any given moment, we can snap. It's just a matter of time. I don't care what upbringing you come from or what part of the planet you are born in. In the movie T2, uh, Arnold says it best it's in your nation to destroy yourselves. I, I guess it's like it is true up to a point. But I feel like it doesn't have to be true. But it requires mental fortitude. Which is the hard part. That's what I think. Everyone's gonna be uh, have a different opinion about that though, let's be honest. I've ruined a few friendships over simple shit like that, such as YouTube comments. Yeah, it's it's hard to do though, like, let, let's be honest here, it's, it's really fucking hard to not give in to your emotions sometimes. Because everyone has those, like, feelings, and they, they feel like urges, right? They need to come out, but if you're disciplined enough and you keep them in, you're gonna be a better person. You ruin way less things around you if you do it like that, but it's it's just really fucking hard to do. It's something you can definitely train though if you if you'd want to. Like I don't really get irrationally angry anymore, but when I feel like someone deserves my anger, it's a different story. I just go full full ape pretty much. Which one was this again? Pen? Yeah. Yeah, but it's something you can control if you want to. You just have to... Like, it's not something that happens automatically. You have to want to control it, if that makes sense. Right. I was from the 
this one. Let's go to the next one. How? Um, how to control that? I think it's by telling yourself what's happening and accepting that it's happening and purposely ignoring it. That shit's fucking hard to do though, so... Uh, the only way you can do it is if you train yourself to do it. No, I don't. Th I don't think that's a normal person thing or whatever. I think everyone can do that. I used to have a major fucking temper. Like when I when I was a lot younger, I uh, I had a bully, right? And I was like um, socially less skilled. And children can be fucking brutal, right? But I slapped that guy every single week, like every single week, if not multiple times. Eventually, it was uh, it was bad enough that I sent him to the hospital as well. But like, I come from that temper where if someone would say like one wrong thing about me because it, wa it was so ingrained in me, to immediately go apeshit, immediately be aggressive, and immediately get physical, to how I am now, which is if someone says something shitty about me, it's like, oh well, that's your opinion, fuck you, and that's it, like it's gone. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, it's something you can train if you want to, because this this didn't come automatically for me. Like, for me, it's not an automatic process of, okay, now it's just fine. I can just, like, listen to something negative and be completely fine with it. That took, that took training, like, that's not something that came fully automatically. How are you gonna train that? That's, uh, what I just said, it's like, you accept something is the way it is. And you purposely, like you really have to, uh, it's not an accidental thing, you have to purposely shove it away from you. If someone does a shitty thing to you, you have you have a choice, right? Like it doesn't feel like you have a choice because of emotions, but you, you do have a choice. So you purposely choose to let it go. And the way you let it go is by, in my opinion, just say... You know what? That's your shit. Fuck you. Not my problem. And that shit ain't easy to do. Because you... The thing is... Like... You, you can feel in your body that you want to do it a certain way, right? You want to fucking hit that guy across the head. Of course you do. He's a fucking asshole. He deserves it. That's what you want. But what you want and what you do... You can completely disconnect that from each other. But you have you have to want that part as well. You have to not give in to the urge to go aggressive towards someone. That took me fucking years to do, by the way. So it's not something that happens overnight, right? But if you try hard for that, you can do it. Literally any person can. Because I, I am a very temperamental person. I can tell you that much. You have to realize the consequences of the action you will take. If you fight anger with anger, it just escalates. That as well, but that's more of a precursor for me, I, I think. Like, that's a logical side, but then the emotional side comes in and says, yeah, but you know what? Fuck it, just fucking hit him, you know? That's, that's what the emotional side does after that. But at that point, you have to tell your emotional side, this is not, this is not gonna happen. I'm not gonna do that. He's an asshole, but that's his problem, not yours. He's in a bad fucking headspace, you can tell that, otherwise he wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be an asshole. I feel fucking sorry for that guy. That's how it is, man. It, it, like, that shit ain't easy, but I think it's definitely the correct way to handle most of those things. Like, it fucking sucks to do it. 
Uh, now going to the other one now. The three care pen. Yeah, agents. Well, I mean, that's because he's full of bullshit opinions, so that makes sense. <laughs> Mind you, I don't, I don't dislike agent. I just dislike his entire opinion on uh, this game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. I think I was uh, there. Let's check the map real quick. Yeah, there it is. I'm not one to make excuses for shit, but I legitimately have emotional instability. I've had that for most of my life. I know exactly what you mean, don't worry. How do I control when I go full shit on people? Uh, don't start. Literally don't start going shit on people because once you've started, you're gonna you're gonna finish it as well. That's you can't slow that shit down midway because your emotions already took over at that point. But the starting side, that's that's something you have to not do. There's no waiting time. There is though. When you notice, like you have to start. Uh, Noticing when something is about to happen. You see someone make a bullshit opinion, you see someone uh, say something negative against you, like pretty much anything, right? It, it can be anything. But you, you notice that something's about to happen that you're not gonna agree with, right? And at that point you have to already mentally step back don't look at it from a first-person view, look at it from a third-person view and see like, okay, this guy is saying something bad. Uh, either something I don't agree with, that's fine, I can just uh, tell him something and that's fine. But if it's very disrespectful or he's being a complete asshole or something like that, at that point you have to just think, okay, this guy's being a complete asshole, but that's his problem, not mine. He looks like a jackass, not me. And that's, that's just how it is. And if other people start taking his side, which can happen as well, at that point it's just, okay, you know what? Fuck you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Done. I love how you said, uh... just, just don't. Literally, just go fucking away. Why bother? Why make yourself irrationally angry constantly? Like, why, why would you do that? Oh. Well, I guess that works. <laughs> it is not easy. Of course it's not easy. Your brain your brain literally tell, tells you, go in on this, fucking destroy his ass, Just shout at him, slap him, be an asshole to him, this guy deserves it, fuck this guy, dude. That's what your brain says. Of course it's not easy, because you have to fight your literal own brain to do it. That's fucking tough. But you can train it. And the only way you can train it is when you start doing it. So you st every time every time you see yourself getting mad at something or someone's being an asshole to you or something like that, you have to deliberately try to not get angry, deliberately try to leave him where he is in his shitty headspace and disconnect yourself from that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though, you're not, you're not the only one with issues like this. Like, I've had these issues for a really long time as well, trust me. My... My chillness became... I think when I was 23-ish? And even then I was still very fucking competitive. I'm gonna eat uh, my sandwich while you uh, while you talk. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, my girlfriend's gonna get angry, and who knows what might happen.
No, I understand, dude. Um, a few. Hold on, I'll I'll say it a few years ago, right? A few years ago, I was um, I was uh, boarding on my longboard towards the uh, supermarket, right? And then immediately, like as I almost got there, uh, some guy cuts me off in his car, and it, like that technically could have killed me if it was worse. I was livid, like. I was ready to fucking kill that guy. Like, I was really fucking angry. I, um... At that point, I grabbed my board, I walked towards his car, and I was... I was about to fucking... <laughs> like, I wanted to fucking kill that guy. Uh, my girlfriend was with me as well, and she shouted at me, Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> like, don't do that shit, you know? And at that point... My emotional side, uh, even though it took over, was like at the back burner just for a second, and it made me rationalize, what am I doing here, right? I could go in on that guy, I could fucking slap him with my longboard, maybe even kill him. Where the fuck does that get me? What does that do for me? It'll feel good for maybe a second. And after that, a lifetime of regret. Do I want that? No, of course not. Fuck that. That's dumb. That's that's a dumb fucking action. So I backed off. I was still really angry. And I was probably cranky the rest of the day. <laughs> not that cranky? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, exactly. So... Like, if I, if I went through with that uh, quote-unquote plan, that would have probably fucked me over for life, right? And the fact that I didn't means that I'm still allowed to fucking be here in uh, stream 11 today, for example. But it's... That moment of emotional takeover, it can fuck you over so hard if you let it. But it's so fucking hard to not let it take over as well, because it's literally your brain telling you to. But you have to... You have to really fucking try to do that. Like, it's not something that happens automatically. For some people it's automatic, for some people it's easier than others, for sure. But in general, it's something that does not happen automatically. You ha really fucking have to rationalize what you're doing yourself, right in the moment. And the right in the moment part, that's the hardest part, because that's the part where your emotional side is kicking in and being like, Okay, I got this, you know? Yeah, <laughs> uh, girlfriend with uh, with anxiety uh, issues and um, and being very evasive of conflict definitely helps. <laughs> but even without that, I am 100% sure that any person could do that. Yeah. Did you just? Oh wait, I'm getting kicked out in five. Getting kicked out in five minutes, sec. I'm gonna warp out. Snap his leg like a twig. Not worth it, bro. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. But that part... Where you... Uh, where you intentionally go against your brain... That's something you have to train. That's that's not easy. You have to be in control and letting your emotions take control. That's the worst fucking thing you can do on the angry spectrum of things. Like on the happy spectrum, it's completely fine and it's nice and it feels great and all that stuff, right? But on the angry spectrum, you have to you have to deliberately go out of your way to make sure your brain uh To make sure that you're in control of your brain. Let's just say it like that. And be, being in control is really fucking hard. And it does require a lot of effort and a lot of training. Also, if you do um, go with the thoughts and with the angriness, you will train it more and more to be angry. That as well, for sure. Um, 
the the more often you get angry, the more addicted to the feeling you get because that's how emotions are, right? When you feel happy, you feel, and that feeling is like it's fucking there, and yeah, you know. But that feeling is there with anger as well. The only downside is, even though anger itself feels great because it makes you like this. This sounds weird, right? But it does. It makes you feel alive. It makes you feel like yeah, let's fucking go, right? But the consequences IRL apart from your emotions with anger, that's a problem. Like that's a massive problem. If those consequences weren't there, the anger issues wouldn't matter. But the consequences are there. But it does. It's fucking addictive as well. No, seriously, when when you get angry, in comparison to when you're in a rest state, I guess, when you're not feeling anything, or even melancholic or something, I prefer anger over melancholy, by far. Because it makes you feel shit. And adrenaline definitely does its part there as well, that's for sure, yeah. Like, it, it doesn't sound right, but if you, if you really, um, if you really try to analyze anger, like the feeling of anger, yeah, it feels great. It feels great that I'm angry. I get to fucking go. I guess, yeah, that's true. Melancholy is definitely a, a feeling. It's just like the, the feeling of nothingness. It's really, it's a really weird feeling, that one. But that, the, what I'm trying to say here, though, is anger is, it's a problem when you let it overtake too often, because it only gets worse and worse and worse, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the pizza story feels funny, man. But what I'm saying though is if you if you let anger take over, it's only gonna get worse and worse and worse. And you have to deliberately try to distance yourself from that feeling while you're experiencing it, which is the hardest the hardest part because that's how emotions work. They let you experience cer certain things, and you your body wants to experience those. All right, see you later, man. Have a good one. Like that's just that's just how every single emotion works, and anger is a emotion that has dire consequences if you let it uh, rise too high or if you act on it. Like no, there, I think the only other emotion that can have such dire consequences is sadness. But even then, like, it, that, so let's let's fucking hack into a weird topic here, right? If you, uh, if you change the emotion here from anger to something else, to sadness for example, if you feel sad all the fucking time, you know what the natural outcome eventually is, right? I think we all know that. So, what can you do to make sure that doesn't happen, that you aren't constantly sad? What's the thing you can do to make sure that you're no never going down a spiral that deep that you can't get out of it anymore? The only thing you can do is distance yourself from the emotion and try to do something else entirely and be um, be in control of your brain. Because the moment you lose control over your brain in a sadness emotion, that's the moment you can seriously hurt yourself. But anger is the same fucking thing though. If you let anger constantly take over, you can hurt others, that's just how it is. But if you don't let anger take over and you start being more rational about it and distance yourself from the feeling entirely, that's where you can uh, become better, I guess? Uh, yeah, sure. There you go. Yeah, more in control. But, and again, it's it's not easy. We like I know that from personal experience as well. That shit is not easy.
what's the uh, what's the non-existent part to your feeling? Like, what part do you feel doesn't exist? It does matter, because that's... That's that's the entire thing, that's, that's where your emotions take over. That's the entire problem here. I'll be happy playing shit, then within same 20 minutes of frame, I want to stab a baby. Yeah, but that's the feeling of anger. Of course that matters. No, no, I'm not saying something has to cause it. I'm saying... Anger is an emotion that will come at some point, and you have to do something about it. You can't let it lie dormant because it becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. Even if nothing causes it. So you have to do something, like, purposely do something about it. Because if you let it, like, autopilot, it's gonna become stronger. That's just how it is. Yeah, no problem, dude. I think these topics are very interesting, by the way. This guy has not been Victoria, right? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I'll watch it after stream. I still need to eat my sandwich as well, so I'll do that real quick. No worries, mate. I'm very much used to not normal things.
So I was uh, talking with my girlfriend just now in uh, in Dutch because it's a little bit easier. Um, she made a pretty good point on how she deals with it. So yeah, well, I mean, I guess with emotional issues in general, I guess. But when you uh, when you have a certain feeling. Like uh, either anger or uh, sadness or melancholy or s whatever, right? Any any type of feeling. When you notice it's there, you see that it's there. You like you acknowledge that it exists. You embrace it, and then you let it go. And you need to be wait what? Yeah. Oh, like that, yeah. So you, you try to uh, make it a positive emotion instead. I guess that's the best way to translate that. <laughs> yeah, finding a way how to um, how it works for you because it, like everyone deals with it differently, but there's one thing that's the same for everyone. You need to acknowledge it. That's always something you have to do, that's for literally everyone. And you need to make sure that it doesn't overtake you, that you stay in control. And the way you do it is different for everyone. So for my girlfriend, it's embracing it, noticing it's there, that's for everyone. And for her, she tries to make it into a positive emotion instead. And what I do when I have a thing like that is I try to dis distance myself from the emotion. So the emotion can't overtake me if it tried. And everyone has like a different coping mechanism with that. And you have to pretty much find yours. But the only, f the only way you can find yours is if you legitimately try to find it. Like you, you can't just be like, oh, this is just gonna happen automatically because it is not. You have to really go out of your fucking way to do it. And I'm not saying you're lazy or whatever, right? That's not what I'm saying here at all. I'm just saying the that's the only way I think uh, of dealing with uh, anger issues. Acknowledge it's there and make sure that it doesn't overtake you. That you stay in control. Because as soon as you're not in control, th that's going to be a problem. Right, which one was the pop here? Horn. Alright. Does that make sense? I'll uh, give it a watch later, yeah. More information is always better. But I'm still, I'm convinced everyone can look at their own emotions, like objectively look at it like what is this feeling I've got right now and that's that's the start you have to you have to see it and you have to take like literally take a moment to think like okay this is an emotion this is a this is a feeling I have to do something with this and whether you have to let, let it lie there and let it expand itself or whether you want to stop it or something like that that's Dependent on the emotion, I guess. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't let it go through and dictate your actions. I think that's the best way to put it. No, I know why. I know why. It's just. I am convinced even you can stop it because I used to be in the same shoes. Like, it was bad. I, 
I can tell you 100% sure that you are not alone in this, dude. Like, for example, what I feel when I'm angry is, like, I feel adrenaline rushing through my body. I feel... Um, I feel hyper-focused on something. So I feel like I'm... Like I'm watching something... Uh, <laughs> goes it live, yeah. So, like, I feel like I'm watching something very intensely uh, in the way of uh, the preparing for the kill kind of thing. Like, that's that's the kind of stuff I feel, but I am I am aware that I that I feel those things. And when you dismantle them like that, when you're like, well, this is a feeling and this is a feeling and this is a feeling. Eventually what you start getting is These are just feelings. This is not something I have to act on It's just something that's happening to my body and I can choose to do something with it or not Did I just fucking die to Mijin? <laughs> Rip This guy needed a lot on as well. Yeah, I did <laughs> I mean he doesn't have any gear on so it makes sense He doesn't have any magic evasion Poor guy. It's the guy I needed to lot on as well. But like being aware of your uh, of the thing you're feeling. For me, uh, it dismantles that feeling, not entirely, but a little bit, enough to retake control of my brain, right? Because that's what you're going for. You're not going for the feeling is entirely gone, because that's not really possible. You're going for the feeling exists, and it's something that's happening to my body, which is fine. This is just how it is. That's completely okay. Does that make sense? Are you serious or are you memeing here? <laughs> hey, every time I have to sneak in Fizz, I miss my scholar. <laughs> So nice aiming those things. Uh, next one's there, alright. I'm gonna continue eating my sandwich while I run there. So, when you get angry, right, what do you feel? Like, legitimately, what do you feel your body is going through when you're angry? Because I know you're feeling something. No, you do feel shit. That's that's complete bullshit. You feel something. And I'm 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 not saying like what do you feel before you get angry? I'm saying, what do you feel when you are angry? Like when the thing has already happened. What's the, what's the feeling, the literal feeling you have? Like what's happening to your body when you're angry? Next time you're, so this is your homework assi assignment, right? Next time you're angry, try to really focus on that feeling instead of what you're angry about. Like, really fucking focus on that particular part. Like, 
I'm angry, and this is going on in my body, and this is going on in my body, and this is going on in my body, right? Tr try to do that, and like really fucking hyper focus on that shit. Just give it a give it a go. See where that ends you. If that doesn't, if it doesn't help, it doesn't help. But if um, if you do notice something, uh, report back to me, and I'll uh, give you your next one. Like, it feels weird, but that's what emotions are. They're literal, physical reactions in your body. Nothing more, nothing less. Hey, Pano. Now, I'll watch it for sure, but promise me you'll try this, okay? That's all you have to do, just try. Right. I'm uh, doing trials mostly. I'm farming Arch Dynamis Lord uh, pops now with Arc and Mini Arc. Because uh, we need five of those, I think. It's kind of annoying to do, but we have to do it. It's mostly just a lot of NM killing and a lot of actual farming. I usually don't like it that much, though. <laughs> yeah, dying to Midgen, for sure. Of course I died to Midgen. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> oh nice. Good job dude. Just have to wait on the pop thing here now. Make sure me, uh, Thief doesn't die again. That's probably a good idea. Uh, you wanna play Rune Fencer? I mean, take some, uh, pressure off my back to always be tank, so I'm game with it. Sounds good. Uh, he's an Elfan in a Galka suit. He's not a Galka. I just know it. No Galka is smart. Those don't exist. <laughs> That's, uh... I mean, that's a Skappa. <laughs> I like how everyone hates Galkas except Galkas. <laughs> and sometimes Terrors. Daddy issues, I guess. Fake <laughs> Terrors. Sounds pretty you. <laughs> I got so Papa Sensei. Wow. I can call Alexi Papa if you would like. He's a Mithra though, so it's more like a mama then, right? Girlfriend. Pet the cat. <laughs> Galkas are just mutated terrorists. <laughs> Lamau. That's a, that's a fucking freak of nature, if you ask me. <laughs> Sam Mithra. What do we call a Sam Mithra? Bad.
right. Uh, it's got that thing. MSS, LE, pass. Alright, find fiend. Find fiend. And find fiend. Alright, I'm gonna be right back for about two minutes. See you in a bit. All right, I'm back. Now the worst part begins. Because now we have to fucking do this shit. The lottery pop. I hate this. I'm gonna take a massive plunker, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that Dyna beat. This one's pretty good. The uh, Bosadine one is fucking awful. I don't like that one. I get school the first time, but if you're farming in it, it feels the. Uh, um. All right. Let's see. Jacobo Mazurka. Mage is ballot three. There we go. Uh, I don't know why to go for this, by the way. What's the uh, best spot for popping those NMs? Should probably check my white scan as well. Wait, what? Fuck you, guy. Is he still weakened or something? Or are those true sight? That's weird, man. I don't need that anymore. 
snake me. Should I just be AoEing those or something? Does that work? I haven't AoEed here in forever. Usually one around here, right? Young, young Shirai. Such a young sprout still. So much to learn. Arma, ooh. I was considering making one. I kind of want to meme it up with the Gandiva and stuff, but it's such a poor choice. Shouldn't do that until I have at least some other good items instead. Oh, here's an item. Pog. I'm invincible, me. What a dick. Fucking yoinking my shit. One of those. Out of very bad, man. I'm guessing you're popping yours as well in a bit. Simon's spreadsheet is... his spreadsheets aren't very good usually. They are riddled with mistakes. At least for Dancer, so I'm assuming for the rest as well. He's not very careful when it comes to his spreadsheets.
Yep, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. That I know of, at least. Yeah, that's really good, for sure. I'm gonna eat my other sandwich real quick. What are you guys gonna kill? I mean, technically it's not even that, right? It's just like uh, simulating a real situation where the rune fencer is in the front of everyone. Start here. Technically, yeah, if you can hold hate there, you can hold hate uh, anywhere. But the longer the fight goes on, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying as well. That's just how a re regular thing is. In the Zerg fight you have SBXs, I guess. Depends on if you go full on Zerg fight with one hour or not. There's plenty of uh, Zerg fights where you don't want to use one hours just because, why bother? If you know that you're gonna need them the next fight or something. <clears throat> then again, it's probably easier to hold hate with when, not, uh, when one hours aren't used. Since that limits the uh, damage dealers as well. So I guess you could see it that way then, right? If the uh, ranger is uh, allowed to use one hours, so is uh, the other one. The uh, tank.
Where are you right now? Yeah, it's just a different mechanic in entirely. Holding hate there is really fucking hard just because uh, you got hate capped really fucking early on. one time. I mean, you can use it in other places as well. It's definitely a lot better there for damage entirely though. Just because not dying. <laughs> not dying is pretty good, I've heard. Like I should be white scanning these instead. I think any is just uh, when you're not confident in your tank. Like if you know your tank's kind of shitty, then any is a really good choice. Uh, if you know your tank can hold hate really well, any doesn't have that much of a place, I guess. I'd say it's a really good bug weapon for, uh, because of that, to be honest. Yeah, people cap hate in the wave 3 fight as well though, right? Like the damage dealers that is. That's why Slash Dragoon is good there. 30% hate loss is pretty fucking nice. Especially when you know it's about to uh, go off the tank and onto you. <clears throat> I thought it was Wildfire that did that. I don't think True Flight has a less hate mechanic, right? Yeah, I think so as well. May I don't even know where the fuck these uh, NMs spawn. Do they always generate less hate? What's the modifier on it then? I thought it was just a normal damage hate move. <clears throat> Like, what's the hate modifier on the weapon skill being magic instead of physical? I've never heard of that though, like I know it's on Wildfire because Wildfire literally has a uh, TP mod for it, but... It feels like it would make sense, but I've never really seen it in action, I guess. It's preferable for some fights, it's kind of funny.
Oh. Yeah, the magic attack bonus one is pretty big then. The D stat doesn't do much though. These stat caps at like 32 for most magic weapon skills, which is really low. It doesn't add much damage at all. Apart from the ones that uh, don't have one like that, but most of them do. There are, there are a few magic weapon skills that have a high D stat cap, I think, but I can't remember which. Maybe True Flight's one of them? Would make sense, since it seems to do a lot more damage than most others. Oh, there's no known cap. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's pretty good, yeah. That's kind of cool, I didn't know about that. Is that the case with uh, all magic damage? Like, is it the same with nukes? Because I, I notice nukes can do like 50k damage and not take hate. Even if you do it, do it at the start. They have traits. I mean, it makes sense if it would uh, use the same thing, right? <laughs> you would be welcomed by one person, the rest is uh, AG fanboys. Feels bad, man. Hey, finding these fucking anems is awful. I knew this would be the longest part. Time to say I'm moving to. F <laughs> God damn it. Just leaving us behind, huh? Moving to Rack to be a Leafkin fanboy, get my free shit. <laughs> Lamau. Look at J Mac trying to fucking hustle, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm, I was saying earlier as well. If, you, if you're not confident in your main tank, I think Annie is really good. I 100% pull hate every time in this Embu on Coral Ranger, even with a good tank if you do the range threat. I mean, it kind of depends on the uh, 
uh, on the NM at this point though, because he has a hate reset, right? I'm fairly sure there, there's usually one that uh, spawns here. Stop calling me Muppet, you meanie. I thought it was here. Relic Lolba. I kind of want it to be good because I really like the weapon skill. It looks cool. I know it's trash though. I'm always up for something on a uh, run that may seem impossible. Yep. That's why I like playing with you. There's not a lot of uh, people that try outside of the meta. Southwest? Oh, okay. Go that way then. No more COVID, poggers. Oh, there's someone here as well. Wait, you have one? Do it. Like the weapon skill looks awesome, it's it's fucking awful, but it looks really cool. It looks like a proper Rama, you know. Why do you have one though? <laughs> I guess at some point people just start making relics for the hell of it. For the auction house points. Massive leech. Probably. Wait, Yoichi was your first? Wait, when did you make it? Was this at 75 days? No? Alright, fair enough. Why'd you make Yochi? What, what was the reasoning behind it? I uh, never made a 4k HP set. I mean, with your skin you technically don't have to hit 4k, right? Because it's sexy, fair enough. Can't argue with that. I wanted to do. Wait, what? Oh, on Samurai. Yeah, got it. I had a feeling it was because of Samurai. I'm gonna make Yoichi on Alex. I'm getting heals, dude. Stay a sec, alright. Oh, for that. Was flexy, yeah, makes sense. Kind of is. Um Stop 
Stop running away from me. Don't you want songs? Need some advice? Yo, from me, are you sure? <laughs> I'm not responsible for the outcome. It's a disclaimer. Do I put my scholar stuff away in order to make wardrobe space so I can fully pimp my paladin? For niche items, etc. Uh, if you're done with scholar for now. Do you feel like you're gonna do some solos on Scholar still, or are you like played out for a little bit? If you're played out for a little bit, just fucking hop on that Paladin train. Play that to your heart's content. Oh yeah, but that's what I'm saying, like... Do you feel like you're going to do that soonish, or are you just not gonna do that for a while? Then pimp out your paladin, right? Why not? Why let your gear sit there? If you can instead just not do that. See, how many more do I need? Two more. There's one more after that one. Need nine more shells to cap out. <laughs> Drop all scholar gear. I didn't say that, but... <laughs> oh, perfect. Alright, we should be done with binds at this point. Yep. Oh my god, can I target the fucking beast? Thanks. Oh, that guy's not even alive, by the way. He's just standing there menacingly. Not sure what he's doing. Maybe he's making shield or something. I hate this part, man. Lottery pops are the fucking worst. I do not miss those. Not one single bit. I mean, we got two of them at least, but... Takes so long, you know? So I'll go to the next one then. I don't think anything pop threat. <laughs> Let's see. I can find something here real quick.
Nope. Alright, let's keep going. Shit don't matter. God damn blink fucking ate my weapon skill. It's Red Mage is soloing me. <laughs> Fuck you, Red Mage. Okay, you link it. I'm kinda curious now. seen it yet. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty good, man. Nice and clean. Is there like a part where there's fucking NMs here that I'm just not seeing? Like I don't think there is, but... like it. Rip. That looks nice. Amorph outside of Abyssia. Why outside of Abyssia? Should you do that inside? I think you can, right? A trial. Oh, rip. <laughs> hey, nice, found one. Shrouded Bijou. Can't cast because my inventory is full. How did that get in there? This has LV pass. 
need leeches or worms. Uh, I think most of them are too low, to be honest. That I know of. Just for kill shot. Oh, you can't kill those? Like my pussy ass bard. Oh, nice. Yoink. <laughs> you want some? Yeah, I do, dude. Can you give me some? This guy. Sleepy cat cam, hell you dude. Oh, she's a cutie. Hey. Oh shit, she woke her up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ruined! <laughs> nah, she's alright. I got the way she goes to sleep as well, it's great. Yeah. Feels good, man. We're doing uh, Gellarhorn trials here. Farming ADL pops for Umbral Marrows. Not the most fun thing in the world, but it's gotta be done. We need one more. Unless we got a double drop. In that case, we don't, but I am very doubtful. I wouldn't mind that. It's no problem at all. I already did this one, whoops. Oh, by the way, anyone on the Asura that wants to buy silver vouchers, let me know. I have 40 of them. I don't need to get rid of them. that stuff. See if we can get another one here. Do they have do they have a minimum repop or something? I don't think so, right? Guess I need to clopedia this old content. 
Uh, Nemes, Sarkabart. Let's see, where are they? It doesn't say. I guess I'll just pick a zone and stick with it. It's probably the better idea. Um, I'll probably go get dinner first, and then uh, we can uh, do it right after. So I'd say about eight my time. Maybe a little bit sooner. Sounds about right. It's a lottery pop off these guys, apparently. Let's go try that. Ah, uh, the other one was a Dark Knight here, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of Dark Knights here. Alright, sounds good. We'll set it up for tomorrow. We're doing a different kind of stream tomorrow again. So we're going for uh, Resident Evil 2, the remake apparently. Supposedly a very good game, so we want to try it out. I'll probably shit myself playing it. <laughs> Which one is shirty? Completely forgot about that one. Oh yeah, um, he either takes ranged magic or physical damage, and he changes uh, that sometimes. Have to feed him TP. No, wait, it's not feeding. You have to get him to a certain percentage to change him. I can be your corner man, helping your with your puzzles if you need. We'll definitely try. But he's a scat man. I don't into scat, I'm sorry. As I said, I've remembered all puzzles. I mean, if you've speedrun the game, you kinda have to, right? It's not really an optional thing at that point. Every 10%? It uh, could be. I don't know how often it's changed. I know it's percentage based though, because feeding TP doesn't do shit against them. thinking. Wait, which way? Not sad, talented.
very talented human being right there. I'm sure I'll be fine. I usually uh, don't have too much trouble with puzzles. Let me figure it out first, though. Like, don't fucking give me the answer before I want one. I wouldn't really try it on my own. It's more fun. Actually, I need those still. Um... Find white shell. How many more do I still need? Quite a bit. I'm gonna see if uh, waiting for repops on these Dark Knights and uh, Warriors, if that works out. Yeah, that's that's fair. I think it's for the best. Makes it more fun on my end too, right? Oh, is this Dark Knight pop uh, thing? Maybe. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking too. I don't know who. I've seen no info about it. Like, I, I know nothing of uh, uh, Resident Evil in general. Like, I'm going in completely blind here. Oh. Hey, it worked out. Feels good, man. It's always nice when shit comes together. Thomas the Tank Engine. That <laughs> uh, sounds like Skyrim all over again. Oh no. of those who I still have actually. 81, that's fine. Five. Thomas's theme song. shit that I already have it. Ah, oh, rip. Didn't drop anything. Oh, right, we have, uh... I should have done that after, that's my bad. 
Yeah, my bad. I was like, I'll keep it in uh, pool. Whoops. Go for it. Some sinister shit. <laughs> I mean, if you're just walking down a hallway, like a dark uh, fucking corridor kind of thing, and suddenly you hear some loud ass ear rape Thomas the Tank Engine theme song, I'd fucking shit myself. Shrek and Pennywise. Wasn't scary enough, huh? Oh, he killed one already. Mass full inventory. What do I even have? I have nothing. I'm gonna use this. Fuck you. There we go. I don't think it's useful, but it might be useful on Wrath Hair or something like that. You get some additional death resistance and uh, some new echo as well, so. And that's a power lot, actually. Goddamn. Oh, I guess uh, he's alive. Uh, all of yours done, right? Uh, Charisma for more than Triumph, 100%. It is much better. more ambu clears. <laughs> we can do it ourselves, right? We're good players now. I'm sure we'll be fine, Kappa. I actually contest you on that, Shirai. I call bullshit on that. I think this is better. For Mordant. Just DM for head. It's kind of crazy, yeah, for the uh, relic equipment.
Like, it feels fucking wrong. <laughs> Alright. I had to take that chance to flex, come on. What? I mean def work, I don't def work. I don't do that. They're sucking my dick by giving me all those items. I don't know what they want from me. Alright, this is fine. You're a big boy, aren't ya? I wiped away as well, <laughs> in the past. I was like, oh, I'll just solo this, easy peasy, oh, this is fine. Wait, he splits up? Wait, I'm dead. <laughs> and then I learned he splits up, so I have to one-shot him, which is very easy to do in Dancer, but I didn't know about it. I just went in like, oh, this is old called death, I can just kill it, right? Had hands and feet plus 10. See? He sucks way more death dick than I do. I'm fairly sure he's sucking it right now. I'm honestly happier with my um, Herc body. Just because it has a shitload of MAB on it as well. songs here. Alright, you know what we talked about, right? Sounds like a perfect opportunity to do your homework. I won't watch it until you try. I have a report back to me as well. I'm very demanding, I know. <laughs> I'll uh, watch it, don't worry about it. I'll watch it, don't worry. I got it open already. Forever, man. Um, Dead. 
10 minute songs. Pug. Ah, that's to feel good. Slightly jelly. Ah, he's worked hard for it. I'm not jelly. I mean... Only hit 9 minute. It's actually my uh, Bart cards. As soon as I say, I wonder my internet dies on me, I think it knows. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, I'm not letting you in uh, in that ridiculously game, you're just gonna get angry. I think I still have it open, right? That thing. Oh, I don't have the uh, link open anymore. I can uh, look in history though, that's fine. I mean, because it's fun. ADL is fun, right? Right? Yeah, ADL is fun. It's not saying it's fun, but that's just that's just uh, coincidence. He, he finds it fun too. He loves ADL. I'll give you fun. <laughs> I have to be fucking aggressive over it. <laughs> the fuck did I do, dude? Kill this, come kill that. <laughs> your father's just a rent boy. Except you're not getting paid. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Alright, I'll uh, open it real quick. Give me a sec. <laughs> Fuck. 
fucking ADL, dude. Fuck this shit game. It could be worse. You could be farming pops for ADL. Right, Ark? <laughs> Again, yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> I mean, you better get your ring from this. I just buy him. Yeah, I know, but you're rich. I'm a poor little pleb. Alright. I think it's the uh, family share function, right? If it's uh, Steam. Kinda weird. <laughs> when I give you my Steam details. Share with everyone, right? All right. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> uh, arc first. Mini. Mini is very brave. It's a brave boy. Why not? You're pushing out on me. Bad juju. -ju. Ring one mar barrow down. Marrow. I mean C. First pop is bad juju. <laughs> Why the fuck was I supposed to pop it then? My fault. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Didn't even do anything. Alright. HP is overrated. Alright. I'll I'll believe you. One shot it. That's not a one shot. My final arc one. Uh, let's go to Mets. 
get that second umbrella. I think we're good here. How does that even work? Wait, what's what's his link shell color? Is it purple? How is that not standard? Yeah, I thought you uh, 99k this regardless, so I want to uh, prep for you instead. I guess that's not a thing you do then. All right, R. Let's do it. Target the thing. Ain't me. We're getting a lot of ring drops today. I got Archon, find Archon. Yeah, I got Archon on everyone now. I guess that's all my pops, right? Yeah, that's all mine. with people? I don't know if it does. Wait, what's that LS actually called? Muppet Core? Wow. I don't know, man. I genuinely don't know why you're not, like, why you're 99k'ing now. And you weren't before. What, is it just a double attack frog? Using Crush, right? Might be a DA proc. I think it's that. That's one. Fuck 
this guy. We ain't done. I can't rest right now. Now I can. BD isn't gonna keep him from uh, death here. Oh, there we go. We had that in the back regardless, there was only one left. I killed three of them before I got death on Ninja, so... I'm actually glad I met suit there as well. Pretty good, dude. Fuck are you jumping on me for? Well, no car and fuck off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't don't try to logic your way out of that one. <laughs> because you'll win. We don't want that. <laughs> All right. Time to finally get this Geller going. All we need is a Dower and technically a Mythic, but whatever. I think that was more important to be honest. At least we got the support side down at that point. Four hundred kill shots on fucking lizards. <laughs> it's an angry dude. Oh well. Already added, I guess. Um, I thought I still needed to turn it in, whoops. Does that work then? That works. <laughs> Was it worth it? Questions life. <laughs> um, sure. Sure. Did it make you feel better? Oh, wait. Uh, sure, to be honest. Oh no, that's not a thing anymore. We finally got it! Where is it? There it is. All songs plus four. Hell yeah, dude. Now all I need to do is get another fucking wardrobe because this one is completely full. And so is this one. I guess I can get rid of one of my Kellys. Let's do that. Let's get rid of one of those marin staves as well. That's not worth uh, keeping in there. But actually, I want to. I don't need eminent flute anymore, right? I can just toss that at this point. I 
I don't think that's ever a good item anymore. Fucking bug, dude. Alright, let's uh, toss the eminent flute here. Rip that thing. It has augments as well, but I don't think they're worth it. Some DT shit, if I recall. The right oh, that's not even JSC. Oh, that's just straight up not worth it then. Alright, cool. Let's... Uh Wrap eminent flutes in our Bart XML real quick. I can find it. Find, replace eminent flutes with yellow horn. Replace all. Control S, AC reload. Uh, Should swap back here. Cool. Yep, that sounds good. Um, kind of makes me wonder how long is duration another night right now. I'm still missing plus one song. So bear that in mind. Nine minutes. Ooh, close. Eight minutes on that for some reason. Eight, mi eight minutes on that. Why is my march longer though? It's kind of strange. on that. I'm not just using the correct things here. Because I should be a uh, minuet. Which armor? Filion green. I have that on. It's kind of weird. There's no plus song on that. There is plus one march, plus one minuet, plus one madrigal. Oh, uh, it's probably Mercado, actually. Yeah, I think that's Mercado. Let's set that set out real quick to make sure. Because Mercado gives you some increased uh, song duration as well. If I recall correctly. Job, I guess. Change it back. There we go. It's nitro up. Yeah, that 
that's it. I was about to say, do I have like a gear problem here? So I'm getting a little bit more duration still from the... Oh, I have plus two already. This needs to be plus three though. It'll give me a little bit duration. The other little bit of duration is gonna be the neck plus one. That's gonna matter too. Hmm. It's pretty nice though. Gives me some extra attack as well. Which is really nice. Um, I guess at this point I should really get a uh, or consider getting a mock thing, mock wardrobe extra to put those in uh, my storage as well. The heavy metals, etc. I could technically sell those, but I don't think it's a good. Uh, Good idea for now. So for Valor Minuet 5, this would give me 14, 24 more attack. Yep, 24 more. And 22 more for Valor Minuet 4. So that's an extra 48, 46 attack. Yep, 46. Extra 46 attack for our Nin. Which I think gets multiplied by Indie Fury. I should actually try that out. I haven't really tested on that yet. Let's give that a go. Stretchy cat, I know, right? The fucking yawns, dude. She's so good at him. Uh, that can go in my mock case for now. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Rip indeed. You chased him away. Right, I'll I'll show you what's happening, hold on. This is pretty funny to watch. She's gonna annoy the other one. She's just minding her own business and sleeping until this one just like, hey, 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 what you doing? Like, it looks cute now, but I guarantee you, within two minutes, these two are wrestling at, uh, again. Happens every single time. There we go. I am owed a pet the cat. Alright. She's looking directly into the camera now. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck is that thing? Hi, Floof. How are ya? Hi. Oh, she wants me to go after her. Yeah, she's definitely in a playful mood. Hi, cat. <laughs> You chunker. You're a chunky cat. A pretty chunky cat. Hi. Cutie. <laughs> I hope I don't get forcefully removed from Abyss, yeah? Just uh, set a timer, man. As soon as you're like within the five minute window, you're gonna get kicked out. It really sucks, but that's just how it is. Alright. It's 
kind of weird how cheap uh, relics are nowadays, huh? I didn't think I would get it even this week, but it's just like, oh wait, I already have enough money. I can just buy it. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Alright, what's the uh, attack bonus on Indie Fury at 900 skill plus 5? Let's see here. Fury is standard 48.20%. See if we can confirm that. I've been wanting to test this out for a while. I kind of want to test it for Kikaku as well, because it has attack plus 10%. I want to know if it works with Bard songs. It's actually pretty easy to find out, I think. What should my Bard song uh, give attack-wise? Uh, Battle or Minuet, five. Two hundred and ten right now. So I'm gonna go to this first. And I'm at one oh nine one. Let's make sure. Yep. That doesn't sound right. Something weird happened there. Alright, I'm gonna reach up here. Get rid of the buff. Right, hi she. Because I'm fairly sure I didn't update the uh, attack number. Yeah. 1031. Valor Minuet 5. With Gellarhorn. So this should be 1241, right? Twelve sixty-eight. Uh, it's 237, that's 27 more than expected. Maybe it's the sub job? I think it gives an attack bonus as well. That's a straight up attack bonus though. Wonder what's causing that. Oh, that's weird. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Let's see here. Twelve sixty-eight. Um. Okay. Let's go to a uh, Kikaku here and see what the difference is. Thirteen twenty-eight. Shush. I'm testing stuff. I want to know how this AM works. Uh, 1328 minus 1091. Okay, so that does not work on songs. 
Yeah, same attack bonus. It's weird though. Is it job points maybe? Could be job points. I think there's a minimum at one. But I'm fairly sure I maxed that. Job points should give plus 20. It should be base to 10. Attack up at uh, plus 7 song. But getting to 3 7. It's a weird number. My job point category is capped. I think uh, Genome uh, is playing again. He's kind of in a weird spot because he doesn't know that much about the game anymore, but like as a player, he's pretty decent. So, like, he has a lot of catching up to do before he gets good again, pretty much. But he has the right mentality. Yeah, I know. That's the last time I checked at least, but that's like, I think one year ago-ish? Hey, guess who's back? There's the Bathic Cat, with Courtesy of Arc. <laughs> MP Body? What's MP Body do? What do you mean, MP Body? Augment Songs? Oh, like that. That makes sense. Well, that's just plus seven included, though. All right, all right, all right. I won't stop. Jeez. <laughs> Welcome back, dude. I think the Ark Songs is a thing, but the weird part is I should be getting uh, 230 here, not 237. What do I get for uh, Philly? Let's see. Philly. Fire set plus one. With three pieces, it's plus two stats. I guess I should check out my strength beforehand then. Let's see what my strength is at. 92. What happens if I AC disable ring 2? Uh, what happens if I lose this? I lose 3 strength. How much attack is that? 3. I think it's that then, yeah. Okay. So 92 strength right now. Valor minimum at 5. It's only plus 2 strength though. So that's plus two attack. I didn't do nitro. Yeah, but it's the same outcome still. Yeah, thirteen twenty eight. Does 
doesn't matter. Like I get that, so this is plus two attack pretty much. So it's, I'm getting a plus five attack somewhere and I don't know where. Is there a merit thing? Oh, minimat effect? Yep, merit it is. Thanks. That means Kikaku doesn't work with that though. Um, now the next thing, which I am curious about, is how does Geo work for uh, for this? I, I've been wanting to understand this for a, quite a while. I think it's important. So we're gonna get rid of this song real quick. Uh, go on the same job, sub job and everything. There we go. All right, all right. Kitty's back! Bug. Yeah, you guys are happier to see her than me. Feels bad. <laughs> I would too though, I understand. Alright, let's see. Uh, Indie Fury. How much extra attack does that give me? I have 1091 right now. Oh, you cannot use it. God damn it. That's actually really obnoxious. Um, whatever, I'll go there. I'll do this on the Haishi, actually. Just to make sure Kikaku doesn't... Uh, do anything weird here. So that should go to 1031, I think it was. Yeah, 1031. There it is. Alright, Indie Fury. Does it not show up here? Oh, it does. 1031 to 1518. Let's calculate how much that is. Forty seven point twenty three increase. Is that correct? Gonna check to be sure here. So it sounds at the, on the high side. I think I'm doing that wrong. Oh no, that is correct. Oh, that's crazy, huh? Yep, that's definitely correct. 1518 divided by 1031. Oh shit. Those off and wiped. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, so what I want to know now is if I Valor Minuet 5 here, what happens to my attack? Eight, uh, one, eight, six, seven. One, eight, six, seven, uh, minus one, five, one, eight. It's three, forty, nine. That is a weird number. I mean, that was kind of expected, so. Now 
That is a weird ass number though. Um, one five one eight. One oh three one plus two thirty seven times one point four seven two three should be eighteen sixty six point something. Oh no, that is the right number then. Okay, so Bard songs do work with it. The question is does Kikaku work with that as well? Nineteen fifty five. One oh nine one plus two thirty seven times one point four seven two three nineteen fifty five. All right. So Kikaku does not work with geo bubbles and oh fuck, that's an aftermath. What am I doing? I need to proc that first. Whoops. All right, this is my current number with both on. Slap this wasp around for a little bit and get Aftermath 3 up. All right, Aftermath 3. That's with just a bard song. And that's with both the bard song and Indie Fury. That's actually a good amount of attack increase. It looks like it might work. Um, so we'll start with the Bard Song first. 1091 plus 237 times 1.1. 1 .1. That should be 1460. I'm at 1457 though. 1091 times 1.1 1 .1 plus 237 is 1437, so it's not quite that either. That is super strange. Okay, that number is really weird. Uh, 1867 times 1.1 1 .1 is 2053. Oh wait, I think I need to do the other one, right? Yeah, that's not right either. Um, so... I guess 1091 plus 237 times 1. Uh, no, times 1.4723. That's a 1955. I'll remember that for now. Uh, 1091 plus 237 times 1.1. 1 .1. Minus thirteen twenty eight. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, times one point one minus thirteen twenty eight plus nineteen fifty five. All right, cool. Now I know.
Wonder if it uses if it works with food. I could technically try that real quick. That's a pretty easy one to do. Let's do that as well. We're testing shit now anyway, right? I'll uh, test it with Berserk and stuff as well, but I think it's going to be the same outcome. Anything percentage-based additive and anything plus-based is uh, multiplicative. Let's see, max plus 75, that sounds perfect. Might honestly make it a decent Dyna D weapon in the end. It's pretty hard to uh, cap attack there as a ninja. I mean, Nickling is gonna do the same thing though. Just differently. My current attack is 1176. Which is interesting. Seems high. Yellow curry bun. Does it have strength on it or something? Strength plus five. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Still, that's more than I expected. That was really weird. Alright. Huh. That is twelve eighty three. Fairly sure it doesn't work with food then. Uh Yeah, it doesn't work with food. Alright. Let's see if uh, Indie Fury works with food. Seven six uh, times one point four seven two three plus one oh nine. Uh, does not seem like it. Seems like a low number in general for this. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that works. Okay, so Fury doesn't work with food either. That's good to know. Um, there's probably like a million of th uh, a million threats about this already, but I wanted to test it for myself for once and see if uh, if it works out or not.
should me lose it should lose me 110 attack so 1965 it should land at here 1960 yeah that sounds about right fair enough all right cool so it doesn't work with berserk either then exactly as expected pretty much is there any flat attack buffs i can abuse though I don't think there's any food with flat attack buffs, right? Go for attack food, let's see. Most seem to be percentage based. Pretty much all of them. Yeah, rip. That's a shame. There's nothing we can really abuse here. It's good to know the other stuff though. It's pretty nice. How many cards do I need for uh, part feet plus three, by the way? Let's see, part... 30 only. That's only a few runs, that's not bad. I did pet the cat. Poor kitty wants some sleep. I wonder if that's uh, a good way to treat Matsu. That's pretty high attack as well, so maybe uh, some malevolence armor might be good for that. I'll allow the nap for now. I'll pet her in 10 minutes. Let her nap a little bit first at least. Poor girl. What's my job points looking like? Still missing. I mean, I got the last gift at least. The uh, CP gift that is. I haven't really tried CPing with Honor March, did I? Let's try that. Uh, first, we're going to check out coalitions, because I might need to do those as well. It's been a while. I should do some um, uh, trials, honestly, some uh, TP bonus weapons. That would definitely serve me well in the long run. MSS, UE, WP, Inventor. Fairly sure we're not capped, but six. All right, fair enough. Let's go try it real quick. It's actually kind of weird that I only need the. Uh... 30 cards, 40 feet, that's pretty good. Uh, it's plus two song duration, I think, right? Yeah, it is. That stacks with the other one, though, with uh, the plus song stuff. Which is kind of nice. I think I'll be at around nine minutes with uh, 
with the plus one neck as well. Sounds about right. I'm honestly not sure what I want to do with uh, Bart quite now. Let's go do a little bit of Metsu run here. Kind of curious. Seems like the cap on yellow curry bun might be a little bit off though. So I'm getting uh, 85 attack from it instead of 75. I'm not sure why. Like it has strength plus 5, but that would make it 80, not 85. Oh fuck, I completely forgot. Um... I'm trying to grab all the blue magic as I go, but I'm having to backtrack to low level mobs for the first uh, time now. Man, spell farming with Thea is horrendously boring. It is definitely boring. There's technically a way around that with uh, equipping a very low level weapon, like a level 1 weapon with 1 damage. Um, there's plenty of things you can do like that as well. That's how I did my, most of mine. But my blues never got above level 50, so at level 99 it's gonna be very tedious to do. this fight on this using the leader Arbama uh, MSS sneak or MSS invisible me there we go it's not bad to be honest because you can like AFK it more, you don't have to keep spamming Dia over and over again that way. I got all the uh, blue spells on Tenebre up to level 49, which is uh, where I'm gonna keep blue on her. Not gonna take it higher than that. There's no need for me to, like, I have no reason to do it. Definitely a guy. Yeah, it's just you just slap things with a level one, uh, one damage weapon, and wait for it to use DP move, and eventually it dies, and you just go to the next mob. There's some mobs there's uh, where there's only a very few of. Uh, those are the mobs you want to do, though, because that shit sucks. <laughs> oh, looks like there's people. Just one people, I guess. And he's AFK, perfect. Alright, I wanna do a little bit of a test run here. Sylvie UC. Goltada, I guess. Arcella is not a bad idea here, actually. 
think that's fine. of glory geo frailty let's get this a go and ecliptic what's my attack at at this point 3600 something that's pretty high what's my metsu hit for at this point Can tell. 16k, alright. So it's gonna be around 20k once I get to R15. I think I can live with, live with that to be honest. What I am more curious about right now though. So my blade chi is gonna perform. Try that in a bit. Let's uh, first see what uh, this does. Blade chi and everything. That's just perma capped at this point. I was uh, shun with uh, high chi then. Uh, load gear lock, a little bit better. Um, maybe, I'm not sure. I don't really use Windows, so... I think Alex, you could help you with that. AC disable sub. I'm gonna use Tarret here. Kinda curious. Twenty nine K, not bad. Twenty eight K. Seems fairly consistent. Twenty four K. This is all at one KTP as well. Forty K. You can definitely tell when a multi attack happens. And twenty six K, all right. Uh, ideally, I want to change these uh, bubbles around, so Geo Malaise uh, in the frailty instead. That's the ideal situation. I don't know if I actually made a rule for the other ones. Blade Techie and Blade Toe, I think it was. Yeah, I definitely didn't make a rule for that yet. See what our blade he's hit for. Fuck all as usual. All right. Not a big fan of he. What's my merits actually? Uh, 
Categories. Yeah. Right on and sweet on. Oh, perfect. Thanks for the advice, mate. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, let's see here. Don't think I can do two of those, right? That didn't even skill chain apparently. There's a 17k one. You can definitely notice when the crits happen on this. Okay, that definitely skill chained. And immediately get interrupted. Feels great, man. 23k, that's not a bad number. I guess. I kind of wonder what my uh, son is hitting for against these. I know these have higher int, and the D int is a pretty large modifier on son. Let's see. Twenty k. That's definitely lower. Higher than Adam is, the uh, better knee becomes, I guess. Hey, I'm testing, leave me alone, dude. <laughs> oh, I was without malaise as well. Let's try it again then. Why you bully me? Alright. How much was it? 23k? I guess the uh, level... Difference is definitely not helping it. I wonder if uh, how much higher I can get that with attitudes. It was already dead, dude. Come on. Are you guys watching me? <laughs> Why am I streaming again? Yeah, knee is definitely better. I noticed that Sun was doing more on low tiers though. I guess it's just a gear issue at this point then. I should make a rule for Fute as well. Decent amount. Fifty K. All right. So I guess the only thing that's left to try is uh, some blade chi action. I actually want to try. Uh, 
Teki and Toe as well. The awkward part about those, though, is that neither of them are very good. I guess Blade Toe is technically the better one, but the uh, the two hit from Chi is just really, really good. I need to gear them real quick, though, because I'm fairly sure I don't have uh, the same set for those. Let's see. There we go. To and Teki. Um, AC reload. AC disable sub. Tarret. Uh, I'll put it on sweet on, I guess. Doesn't really matter here. So this one's going to, I'll start with this one actually. Nightingale, Troubadour, Songs, Indie Frailty, Place of Glory, Geo Malaise, Clip tick. There we go. And I should probably try to not die here. Forty-six K blade techie at three K TP though. I want to see that one K. Thirty-five K, not bad. Let's do another one for good measure. Sixty-six K, not bad. I guess I need to start gearing for double attack on those. That's so much more damage. Alright. I think it's around the 30k region. Let's see Toe. Well, that guy died. Seventy five K Toe. <laughs> um won't guess. This is fine. I'm sure that was a double attack or a triple attack though, so let's try it again. Take Chi away. Of course not. It's the only reason this works. Mate, Toe seems good though. Like, it might... I don't think it beats Chi, but... Oh no, there it is. I think that was one of the most uh, more regular numbers. I wonder if I can do a high double attack set on those though. Alright, let's uh, go back to Blade Chi and see what that's like. These vary so much, man. It's fucking crazy. Forty-one K. Nice thing is that you can skill chain with that though. Sixty-one K. And the skill chains are going to do a lot more because skill chain damage is apparently subject to MAB. Feels weird, man. It scales so well, though. It's kind of weird, though, because technically you'd want to TP bonus offhand, but you you lose out on so much by doing so. Look at that though, if I just get TP for a little bit, 80k right away. Obviously Samurai can do this as well. With uh, Jinpu. And Jinpu's even better because the skill changed with itself. That shit's so strong. Then again, so can Ninja. You can do this with uh, Ninja as well, Jinpu. 88k. God damn, dude.
so random mana damage. It's fucking crazy. Like, it's good, but it's super random. Like, more random than melee hits normally are. You have like a range of 30k to fucking 80k on these. It's crazy. So 41k. Let's try again. Sixty one K fifty eight K feels weird. I definitely want to start gearing towards this. Uh, not so much for regular NMs, but mostly for trash mobs. Would definitely help if we can um, safely dispatch of ninjas and summoners and shit in the Dynasty. I think Blachey is still my safest bet for those, though. It seems the most consistent. Though for some reason, Teki is doing so much. I don't think these uh, are weak to water as well. Oh, there it is. Was bound to happen at some point, right? <laughs> Trash. Absolute trash. Fucking worthless. Piece of shit job. I am currently using Haishi and Tarret. I think this is the best combination for this. Technically, Nakling would do a little bit more, but your TP gain is much slower with it. Mm -hmm. Sparingly, though, this is not consistent at all. Uh, let's see, in the frailty. <laughs> Look at that. 98k, pretty good. So close to greatness. <laughs> Where's your uh, Jinpu set, dude? I haven't seen it yet. Are you gonna gear towards Jinpu, by the way? It's definitely very easy, yeah. You can hit 99k pretty consistently on the Samurai. This is so much better if you have two Geos though. Like it's insane how much better it is with two. The nice thing about uh, the Jinpu set in my opinion is uh, Tachi Jinpu is, if I recall correctly at least, only strength. So you have only one thing to uh, gear for. It's only 30% though, that's actually kind of low. I thought it was higher. Alright, let's try something here. Uh, in the haste. Full circle. Let the songs fall. How much does uh, Lechi do now? 29k at 3k. Rin is a Chio. Alright. Still 38k. That's actually not bad. Let's uh, let songs fall too. See what the uh, base damage on this is. What's left? I think March, right? Yeah.
The fact that this skill change with each other is super nice. Is this skill change with Chi as well? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it does! Wait. God, I, wouldn't, I really want to try that out on something now. May I actually really want to try that out? I mean, fucking lame. Fuck you, dude. That means I have more elements to work with. I'm actually very fucking happy with that. Alright, let's do Victory March. And in the haste, and nothing else. Let's see what it's for. I forgot about that. I still need to do that. Alright, let's see what they hit for. No support at all. 6.8. Completely missed. Ouch. It's my accuracy. Let's try it again. 1300 accuracy, that's just unlucky then. Alright. Yeah, so these hit for fuck all. <laughs> Geo is definitely really good for shit like this, though. Like, it's trade up a necessity. Though, I was getting decent numbers with just a bard as well. Wait, it goes the other way as well. Wonder how this is low buff. Should be better, but ugh. Lady is so bad, dude. I think my best option for low buff is uh, Blade Shun. That's about it. Even that's trash. <laughs> it's in the shop. <laughs> Blade you is such a meme, dude. Actually, I wonder what this hits for. I don't have a set for that either. 
At 2k, that that weapon skill is so trash. Bye. War is really fun. Oh, Alexi on Sam. I don't know about that. I think he just wants to play Samurai, which is fine. I understand that. I don't feel it's right to... Uh, expect the best damage from Ninja, though. It's kinda, kind of a weird job. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shit that right now. Is there anyone I can host? Let's see. Scotty Fractured. That's about it. I'll host uh, Scotty for this time. I hosted Fractured the last couple of times. Alright. Hope you all have a good one. Um, I'm uploading all of these streams to YouTube, so if, well, if you want to check out any previous ones, you can do so by clicking on the link in my Twitch bio. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing a Resident Evil stream as uh, part of our viewer channel point thing. Um, never played the game before, so completely blind playthrough, and I'm probably going to shit my pants. So see you tomorrow, everyone. And say hi to Scotty Lilix for me.